Cool. We got a mentee in the house. Mentee. He sat down. <laughs> Why does my cat make me so emotional? She sat down and she was like, It's time, mother. It's time. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. Is my mic too quiet? It looks loud. This is so weird. I already turned it up. Is that better? The music is now quieter. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in the world, wherever in the world you are. We're better? Meant she spoke? Yes, she did speak. You didn't hear her? I heard her. She definitely said, mother, it's time. Take a seat, it's time to stream. <laughs> I'm here, <laughs> little sweetie potato. So welcome on in everyone. It's Saturday morning. We're doing nail stuff today. I originally thought we were gonna do mail, like with an M, and then I decided that's too confusing. Let's just do nail with an M. No mail, just nail. So that's what I decided. That's what we're doing. Sophia stuff. Welcome to the mods. Welcome to the Menchie gang members and everyone who's coming on in. Come get cozy. Take a seat. How many people are sitting down versus standing up? That's something I've always wondered. Can I do a pull? <laughs> are you sitting, standing, or in motion right now? Yeah. I think all those categories cover it, right? Because you're either sitting like I am or you're standing still like at a standing desk or like uh, if you're standing at a job or something, but not really moving. Or you're in motion because you're like walking around. Laying is sitting. Laying is, is, and sitting is the same thing. Come on. Okay, we don't need, we don't need that many categories. <laughs> Even though we have four. Laying is sitting. <laughs> Are you s like stable? You're not moving. That's basically sitting. It's a proxy. Driving is in motion. If you're in a car, then you're in motion. If you're walking down the street, you know, getting groceries and listening to this or whatever, then you're in motion. If you're studying and you're sitting, then you're sitting. 
If you're sitting in bed, then you're sitting. If you're lying in bed, then you're sitting. <laughs> if you're painting your bedroom, if you're standing in one place painting your bedroom, then you're standing. <laughs> we need to define every single possible one. <laughs> okay. This is, this is very important to begin, of course. Do you have your tea? This is the second most important thing to get started. Thank you, Zate. Been VOD squat squatting a lot lately, but just wanted to say congrats on the great collab. Thank you. I can't wait to wear Brucey. I'm wearing Brucey on my middle thingy. You got your coffee. You got your box. Box is shipped. Oh, I do have an update. Almost 70% of orders from launch day have shipped out. Shout out to the warehouse, who is most definitely not watching this right now. <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah, they are doing amazing. It was, it's been an insane number of orders. So we appreciate everyone's patience. It's gonna take up to the eight to 10 days for some people. It will, but a lot of amazing progress has been made. So yeah, if you're in that 30%, just know like that's, that's still a lot of orders that haven't shipped out. They're still waiting. They're in line to be fulfilled. Please hold, please hold, we're working on it. <laughs> but uh, they are coming. Yeah. Vanilla tea latte, okay, nice. I'm jealous. Mine's, um, what is this fancy little Ottawa thing? It's a London fog, but not with London tea. It's uh, with English breakfast, not Earl Grey. Does that make sense? Okay, let's close the poll. Are you sitting? 80% of you are sitting or lying down or otherwise not in motion. 8% are standing and 12% are moving around. Good for you, 12%. I'll be sitting for the next three hours doing combos. So welcome. Can't do combos in motion or standing. It's a little tricky. I don't have a standing desk. I should probably get one. I used to have one at uh, my desk job, but I never used it because I found it was so creepy. Does anyone else like not use resources made available to them because you just feel creepy doing it? <laughs> In an open concept office, I felt like so inappropriate raising my standing desk and like looking over at someone. So I was like, nope, <laughs> I'm not doing it. If other people want to do it, then I'll just sit there and feel weird if they're staring down at me, but I won't be doing it to other people. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> now, maybe this doesn't apply to you because you have walls. Congratulations, it's amazing if you have walls. But if you're in an open concept and there's someone like right there, I'm not gonna stand and stare down at you. It's just too weird, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I will sit and crouch. I will go under my desk. <laughs> right, it's creepy. People standing above me triggers fight or flight. Basically, yeah, same. Except I can't control when people around me stand or sit. So I just uh, sit there and hope they go away. You know what I mean? <laughs> it feels like being a supervisor. Yeah, the standing desk is like the supervisor move. Uh, check member chats. Okay, let me check. How did I miss these? Did they not show up in the chat? Or am I just like not paying attention today? Okay, I will read them, apologies. <laughs> Good morning, Good morning, Green Bean. I tuned into my, I turned in, sorry, <laughs> I tuned in. I turned in my master's thesis Wednesday. Congratulations! <laughs> Master Green Bean, thank you for being my number one inspiration to push through it, SAF box. That'll be your prize. It's better than a thesis defense, is getting your SAF collection box in the mail. <laughs> just kidding. That's going to be such a great relief. Uh, I read that one. Dreamy gloomy. I'm excited to see the combos. My collection box arrives next week. Welcome to the Menchie Gang, Teresa. Maddie Bagels. Got my bundle delivered yesterday. My favorite box collection so far. One million rays. Got back from my week-long trip to Berlin yesterday. Did a lot of sightseeing. My feet are killing me, so I'm definitely laying down right now. <laughs> yeah. Liberty, thank you for all that you do. So excited to get this. Collection box, bat bitch is my fave. Sales data have also shown she is she is well loved. 
Tinker Panda, hey man, I just learned yo banana boy is a palindrome. Oh my god, it is. That's funny. That's so funny. It's like Taco Cat. Ben, you should make merch with this, yo banana boy, and like do something. You know what I mean? Okay. We'll talk. Blooming Muck simply just wanted to say thanks for everything you do. I love using the Simply Facebook group to get my daily dose of hollow. Thank you. Shout out to the Facebook group. If you put face, if you put exclamation mark Facebook in the chat, the bot should tell you what my official Facebook group is. There's only one of them. It's called All Things Simply. And the banner looks like my stream stuff, like uh, purple neon stuff. There it is. Thank you, stream. Wow, the bot is alive. Wow, amazing. <laughs> the bot is here. <laughs> Just got the bundle today. Absolutely love it. Note to everyone, don't use bat glitters while your fan is on. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing, but that's like kind of fucking funny. Baby bats everywhere. Yes, do not blow on the bats. <laughs> if you have them all out in front of you. Don't go, I did that for filming purposes to make them like kind of go like this, you know what I mean? But don't, don't blow on them. They will take flight. They are babies, but believe me, they will fly if you blow on them. Mm -hmm. They're not very heavy. Bats, 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 everywhere. Just like the detectives when they forget other things. Have they, been paying, pay, have they been paying attention recently to anything else? I don't know. Time will tell. Okay. Today we're doing combos of Sophia's new collection. So I'm really excited because uh, we didn't have time for this on the live launch stream. We just wanted to make sure we had the regular time to like talk to Sophia and hear what she had to say about the collection, watch the video and all that stuff. So today I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the Holo Taco X Sophia collection and do some combinations. So we got Holo Taco combos, like what do toppers look like on top of the shades? What does spear fingers look like on top of black? I've seen some other ideas like that. Uh, some comparisons for how things look compared to existing Holo Taco shades. And I asked you guys on my community page the other day, thank you for commenting. I'm gonna try and use my community page more for stream related stuff because not everyone's in the Discord, although I do use the Discord a lot. But uh, if you just go to the community page and you look at the most recent posts, I'd asked you guys what combos you wanna see so I could prepare some swatch wheels. So I did prepare a couple, but I wanna also do some live so you can watch the transformation. It was just too much to do like all of them at once live. Holo Combo's like, hello, did you say my name three times? 17 times now? Yes, I did. Holo Combo is a mod and also an activity <laughs> that we're doing. Thank you for the super chat, Stacy. Love the collection. Best birthday to myself. Happy birthday. Moon, my order came. My cat is sniffing around the box, investigating it. It is required. Cats will do that. You must let them. It's against the law to not let the cats do that. Speaking of cats, where's Venchi? There she is. Guess who got gifted again? It's me, Deanna. Congrats on getting a gifted membership. Wait, is that what you meant? Or did you get a box gifted to you? I don't know. Either way, congrats. <laughs> okay, so, so many good ideas. Amongst the most common ideas cited was, we definitely need you to mix all the polishes together in an empty bottle. That's just too on brand for the pair of you not to do. So Sophia just posted a Franken short on her main channel shorts. We're gonna watch it later, but you can go watch it now if you want. Because I'm also gonna do that live on stream after some combos, because I wanna see how mine turns out and compares to hers. So we'll revisit that at the end, you know, for all the scientists. Yeah, I know, I've, I've been waiting. I wanna mix them together too, but I wanted to let her do it first, you know, because it's like her collection. <laughs> But we're definitely going to do it together on stream. And then there was definitely requests to see duct tape gray with some of our shimmers. Definitely want I've seen people post that in the Discord or the Facebook group already, but I want to do it. Uh, I know it won't be the same for many reasons, but with Spirit Fingers sold out, it would be fun to see if you can get a similar look. So spoiler, it's similar, but not the same. 
<laughs> yeah, but also in case you missed it, we will be restocking the individual Sophia shades that have sold out and adding up a little bit of stock to the ones that are getting low, like Brucey's definitely getting low. Bye bye Brucey. <laughs> but we are, yeah, we've been working with the lab and manufacturing to see what we can do to restock a small amount of individuals. That's just the bottle and the carton, no collection box. But we do realize that some of Saf's audience kind of caught wind of this a bit later with like, you know, her YouTube build view is a little bit different than a live streamer environment. And yeah, just generally wanna make sure everyone felt like they could get what they can. And we're in a different place now. And we're, we, we did a little bit of thought in advance of like, if this had to happen, could we do it just a little? So we're working hard on making that happen. Yeah, and the nail file, yes. And I, I did, we did promise you that, well, not really promise, but <laughs> we did gently suggest that it was a possibility for the nail file when we sold out really early, yeah. And it's, it's a small restock of just the individuals and the nail file that we were originally a bit short on. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get, we're aiming to get some of those. I do not have a date. But when I say reasonable time frame, like I hope it's it's not like next year. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Like this isn't happening next year. It's happening in a somewhat reasonable time frame. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it honestly. But um, we're we are still working on what the date will be. And follow Hollow Taco for the official information on that. And if you want to know and be first to know when like Spirit Fingers comes back in stock or Bat Bitch or the Nail File, then hit notify me on the website on the shade you want. So do this, put your email here, hit notify me. And the second it comes back into inventory and populates in stock, you'll get an automatic email. So it'll just like, you will actually be, you'll know. <laughs> so do that if you are interested. Bat bitch also has the notify me on it. And so does the nail file, uh, not the collection box, which uh, will not be restacking with these, with these guys. Yeah. So tell Sophia's people too, <laughs> who's not here. Sophia, Sophia's people, listen, hit notify me. <laughs> if any of you know Sophia's people, let them know. But it's been really exciting on social media to already start seeing people get their boxes and start making manis and doing like staff themed stuff with bats. It's super fun. I, I just love it. Dude, I buy so much Holo Taco. Happy early birthday to me. Happy late birthday. Happy unbirthday. Happy half birthday. Happy actual birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Nail polish is amazing. What can I say? I love it. Sophia's here. I am Sophia's people. Okay, tell your other people. I don't know. I didn't see her. Maybe she slipped in and slipped out. L little baddie. <laughs> But I am a Sophia person. You're also a Menchie Gang member. We love that overlap. <laughs> it's my first time here. I love you. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we are also working on the fall cremes because I realized those did sell out. You guys just cleared us out, basically. <laughs> um, Sophia's stuff will is the priority for the lab, but yeah, we're also hoping to get the fall stuff restocked in due time, in due time. Hit notify me to get an email when the shade, or maybe it's the bundle you're looking for, for the fall bundle, the down to earth bundle. Hit notify me on the website, you'll get an email first. Hello, did you expect Spirit Fingers to be such a favorite? Uh, Sophia did because even in the email we sent out today to our Holo Taco mailing list, everyone should have gotten this email if you're signed up to our newsletter. We did like a little Q&A with her, which was so fun. And she said that one of her favorite shades in her collection was Spirit Fingers and Bat Bitch. And those are the two shades that sold out first. <laughs> I remember when we asked her, we're like, okay, what are your favorites? Because whatever you tell people are your favorites or express that is probably gonna sell better because that's just what happens. So we would like to take that into account for forecasting to make sure we make more of those, which we did and they still sold out <laughs> more. So yeah. 
honestly it was a winner and we said this on the um on the launch stream but spirit fingers was one of the first prototypes and we went through like four phases or something of, of prototypes and we had many different iterations of what spirit fingers could have been with like a different color shimmer slightly different gray in different directions as a base and uh we she just kept going back to like the first one that was ever made so it was kind of easy even though it went through multiple rounds and we landed back at the beginning i will be making a short for hollow swatchers and hollow royalty which is the top two tiers of our customer loyalty program excuse me the t <laughs> um we make exclusive content for people in those tiers and uh you could look at hollow taco on the rewards page it says what some of the perks are but one of the perks is ex exclusive content where it's generally like behind the scenes prototypes that i'll share with you guys after we do a big launch so you can see how we made our selections like what were the other options or that kind of stuff so i'm working on that and uh, that'll probably be out in the next couple weeks because i still have to make it <laughs> but yeah you'll see some of the sophia stuff that we didn't end up going with, but it's against the law to say that you wanted anything other than what she chose. So I will just put that out there. You don't want to go to jail, do you? No. <laughs> Maiden of meme, me and my mom watched uh, and sister have watched you and Sophia for a while. We ordered the collection. I'm so excited for it to come. Woo, let's go. Got my collection yesterday and painting all my, uh, my nails with them now. Love them. Thank you, Jeremy. Spirit Fingers is far too good to be limited edition. I know, but we're going to do a small restock so that there's like one more shot. I hear you. So many ideas for nail art with this collection. Got my box Thursday and I'm debating how to do my nails. I've reposted some in, in my stories. Some people did some nail art and I'm still seeing so much more. Hello from Australia. I love the box in this collection. Can't wait to receive it. Were you surprised how popular this collection has been? No, I was not surprised. I was not surprised that this was very popular. <laughs> I'm very proud and excited that it is very popular, but I'm not surprised. I knew it would be. I knew it was a banger. I knew it was a bat bitch collection, you know? Hello, Christine. I hope you had a good time in Raleigh. Raleigh. And that you and Saf are enjoying some well-deserved R&R. Thank you. Yes, I'm a sock. I'm so excited. I just celebrated my birthday the 7th, so I'm happy to get this collab for my birthday. My favorite box so far. I, yeah, I know. Okay, we're, the box is sold out, but it's fine. Let me talk. I really like this box. <laughs> it's the first time we've done this, like, indented die cut thing. It has, like, two layers. And when you put the foil behind the matte black... It has this like 3D effect that glows through. Uh, I really like it. I think it worked out so well. And then we did like a more intricate spine and this, which isn't normally like something we've done. So I, I'm really proud of how it turned out. And I know, I know she loves it. Well, she picked it, but you know, uh, definitely like a lot went into this box. And there is a reel coming out, real short, whatever, of the behind the scenes of the box. That will go to everyone on our social medias next week. So make sure you're following Hollow Taco. You'll see all the box prototypes and how we landed here. That's always fun. People like seeing that. Behind the scenes, the making of the box. Well, not actually the making of it, but like the creative choices and decision-making. Okay, let's get into it. Sophia combos, where should we begin? Where do we, oh, that's Menchie. It's like, that's not the nail cam. Let me start by... <gasps> Jada, thank you for purchasing a Xyler the cat sweater. Look at that tiny sock dance. <laughs> it's so tiny. I might have to make that bigger. I can barely read it. So I'm just going to unpack my shades here water marble no you're going to jail we're banning the word water marble also i've had this manicure on since before launch weekend so don't judge me like it's growing out 
it's you know what I mean I need to redo them the tips are slightly wearing just a little bit I mean I guess this is a why am I being so weird the fact that this has been my nails like this for an entire week and they still look decent should be a selling point Christine what's wrong with me <laughs> I'm like don't look at my nails yeah, but yes, these are the nails that I painted for launch. I painted them in Ottawa before I, it's actually more than a week, what am I saying? I painted these before my trip. These ones I painted way before. So you can tell they're more grown out than this. And they are a little bit, <laughs> they look like they need help. <laughs> I also do way more like work around the house with my right hand, so that's why I don't care about its state of existence. It's my other hand, but this one I care a little bit more about, but. Thank you, Haruba. You got the box, congrats. Woo, let's go. I wish my polish lasted that long. I have videos on that. Um, even on this stream, there's like a nail polish 101 video as a highlight if you want, or you can watch long form content. There's a lot of information that goes into why people's nail polish will last longer, but like if I can try and put it in a couple sentences, the more you use nail polish, the longer nail polish will last on you because you're basically like making your nail more porous over time through the use of nail polish. If you have newer nails, it makes sense to me that nail polish pops off on you easier. That's just what happens. It's like just your nails need practice. They need to get used to it. <laughs> How you apply the nail polish, the base coat, cleaning your nail. Uh, if your nail is too oily naturally or too like shiny of a surface, a slight buff just once or twice might actually help nail polish stick. And then how you apply the polish once you're putting it on. If you put it on your cuticles, then nail polish is more, most likely to pop off. So you really need to like clean out the cuticles and like push them back so that you're only painting on your nail plate, not the little bits of skin. If you paint on little bits of skin that are growing up your nail, it's gonna just lift off. Make sure you're wrapping the tip with your nail polish and the top coat. Go like this, go under it, even if you have short nails. And um, your lifestyle will change how long your nail polish lasts. If you are a swimmer, your nail polish is gonna come off easier. That's just science, baby. That's just water <laughs> getting in there. It's just gonna happen. <laughs> if you work with your hands in the mine or something like, yeah, your nail polish will come off easier. I don't do anything. So I'm <laughs> transparency. I don't do anything. <laughs> I just live to paint my nails and stare at them. So they're good for weeks. <laughs> We have to have realistic standards for ourselves. Yeah, I, I do nothing but drink tea and paint nails. <laughs> In the mine, I don't know. I just pick like the, the most like random opposite of what I do job. You come up with a better one. I don't know. Are you a rock climber? Okay, yeah, then your nails are gonna chip. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, my nail polish will last even on rock climbers. That would be a lie. <laughs> like, no, it's not how it works. Thank you, Amy, for the five gifted memberships. Menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang, menchie gang. Because of Amy, five of you will get to come to the end of the month bonus live stream where we do bonus things. Last time I revealed these. <laughs> I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I'll just, this is my uniform. By the way, like, I'm just, if you see me in any other clothes, um, then the, it, wait, what was I gonna say? That's not what I meant. <laughs> like, I, this is my wardrobe from now on because I have them in every color. I'm, I will be wearing my cats for the foreseeable future. Who is a minor? I don't know, like probably like two people here. I actually know someone who works, not actually in the mine, but in, um, what do they do? They do like compensation and benefits for a company that does mining, I think. Yeah, something like that. Like they're not actually physically in the mine, but they work for a company that does mining. Maybe that's what I th was thinking of. 
Okay. Let's unbox. I heard minor? No. Oh, so minor, like N E R. Like mines where you find gold and stuff and coal. <laughs> That's what I meant. Also, did you guys notice this? The difference? Can I just be annoying? And be like, okay, do you remember when we did the truck video? And it was this carton and everyone had this shade revealed. Everyone knew. Feeling fiendish, Sophia X Hollow Taco. This is what the collab is gonna look like. It it did have bats on the side though. So that detail was put in. You see the little bats with our pattern? Hee 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 hee. Hee hee hee. Anyways, this was just like the original carton because it was a little bit of a a little bit of a rush, you know, to get these made just for the truck event. We only made a thousand or so to give them out for free in Sophia's truck video. If you haven't watched that yet, be sure to go watch what our day was like. It was basically a 12 hour meet and greet. <laughs> but for the actual collab, we gave it a little holographic upgrade. So same logos and stuff, same bat details on the side but uh, a little more, you know, a little more hollow taco, but still feeling fiendish. Oh, and then even like her little moon and bat logo had the hollow. Oh, I fucking love hollow. Like just look, look, look how amazing hollow can make even a little carton. <laughs> I'm such a hollow simp. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, it's fine. But like, you know, if you needed evidence on how Hollow will change your life, it's right here, okay? Anyways. Uh, the nail polish that is inside of the carton <laughs> is also good. <laughs> Here's all the shades. Please tell us if you polished Ben's head. Yes, with nail polish. We painted it with Brucey. Now, I thought that I, like, I could have sworn I painted a nice watch wheel with Sophia's shades, but I can't find it. Like, I, my house is covered in 80 million swatch wheels, and all I can find is the one that I, like, just tested for mini production to clear. Thank you, Bethany, for purchasing a Menchie the Cat sweater. <laughs> you know, when, when that happens, it doesn't even mean they're here, by the way. When that little sock guy jumps up, it just means that someone's buying on my merch, on my new merch store, which is simply an illogical shop.com. But like, they don't have to be here. It's just like pulling the data. <laughs> so like, I'm just shouting them out and they're not even here. <laughs> I'm just like picturing them, like having no idea. Anyways, I can't find the nice swatch wheel that I painted for Sophia. So you just have to get this mini production approval check swatch wheel that I, this is the only wheel I could find. So just, just ignore that. But I don't know if that's interesting to you or not, but um, for every launch, I will make sure uh, when it's like a new product, I always get an advanced batch from mini production. It's like before the giant scale up. And then I compare, I apply it and I compare it to the originally approved prototype which had to have been approved like many months before. And then they place like the giant order for the pigments or whatever. Um, but yeah, like I like cross match it and make sure everything's looking good. That's what MP stands for, mini production or asset bulk. So just ignore that. <laughs> but these are the colors. <laughs> I wonder if my, um, my lighting is kind of a little, I'm gonna do something here to get you better. Give us the prototypes. If you're in Hollow Swatch or in Royalty, you will see them next week. Okay, Does, that lighting looks more accurate. Yeah, my other light was like being yellow. The Crushed Hollow, how, ex how excited are we that I lied and when I said no more Crushed Hollow this year? <laughs> well, I lied to you. I was about to start painting my nails, but I just got an email that my Sophia box is out for delivery. Please hold. Hold. 
that's much nicer lighting okay yeah it's just um I had a little ring light that was too yellow maybe I'll just I'll just leave it off I think it's better what if I do this no I was better on okay there I really like crushed hollow I know right <laughs> I know <laughs> Okay, what combo you want to see first, chat? What combo do you want to see? Put it in the chat so I know where to begin. I'll see what I have pre-prepared. Where do we want to begin? Oh, they look so pretty in the light. Diana. Diana. Pretty please is a crushed hollow rainbow collection on the way. I don't know if it's exactly that, but something Crushed Hollow will be on the way in 2024 at some point in the 12 month period. <laughs> Thank you, Destiny, for purchasing a Zyla the Cat sweater. <laughs> okay. Uh, a lot of people are asking for Spirit Fingers over black. We could do that. But since I already have this ready, why don't why don't we do this? We'll do that next because I, I have to freehand paint. I gotta freestyle it. Let's start with something I have. So feeling fiendish, new creme shade, a muted mauve inspired by Sophia's iconic color. Now look at all the combos you can do with every single hollow taco. Blah, I can't say it 10 times fast. Look at all the combos you can do with every single hollow taco topper. Say that 10 times fast. Actually, this isn't every single hollow taco topper because I could not fit them on one wheel. This lighting, okay, I'm trying to optimize for each color. But yeah, this is Feeling Fiendish, her creme, which is such good coverage. I'm seeing really good feedback already. Like this, I don't know what it is. It's not even like a dark creme. So I'm, I'm shocked at how good it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? It performs like it's a dark creme in terms of opacity. I love it matte. Matte is just so, it like makes it even more muted. It's beautiful, but let's go through. I tried to do every single taco topper. Uh, there's not enough room on swatch wheels now, but here, let me try and walk you through it. Let's get a little zoomy zoom. That's a little too bright, so I'm gonna optimize it. Let's do that. Yeah, that looks more accurate. Take the Menchie hair off. Okay, so let's go through it. If I put this here, then it's like you can kind of see. Matte, everything taco, looks good on everything. It's a rule. <sighs> now there's Menchie hair in my nose. Ugh, sorry, okay. <laughs> Unicorn skins. These guys. Unicorn skins are iridescent flakies that shift in the light and will look different depending on what color you put them over. So over this kind of color, they really glow beautifully. Like that that's lunar unicorn skin, which looks good on everything. It's, li it's literally impossible for it to look bad. Solar unicorn skin, cosmic unicorn skin, Aurora unicorn skin, Sonic unicorn skin, Galactic unicorn skin. Menchie hair is everywhere. If you wanna complement the color, I think Cosmic really complements the Feeling Fiendish purpley color, so that's nice. If you just want it to look like striking and glowing, I really love Lunar over it. I think it's so pretty. Makes it a little more like, like a glowing crystal from far away, right? Yeah, 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 crystal glow. Thank you, Mike. It's coming. Okay, and now let's move over to the shimmers. Okay, shimmers are like unicorn skins in terms of their pigments. So they're both iridescent and they kind of shift depending on the angle of the light and have that glowing effect. But unicorn skins are asymmetrical flakes. So they look a little chonkier and look more like a gemstone vibe. Whereas the shimmers are more uniform and linear and they glow like a little more sophisticated, if you will, and look more like a overall finished, polished rock 
instead of like a chonky rock. Thank you, Julie. So we've got Halogen Glow, Scorched Earth, Polar Princess, if you're looking for a complimentary color, Twilight Shimmer, um, Freezer Burn, <laughs> Celestial Lights. I was like, what's the new blue one? Fuck, Freezer Burn. And then we're getting into Hollow. So these are our three hollow toppers. We have linear, I was gonna say linear unicorn skin. Oh my God, my brain. <laughs> linear hollow doggo, literally the brand name. And that's what you can use to make any nail polish holographic, just like standard holographic. Use a linear hollow taco. It looks like grayish silver in the bottle. It's this guy. Linear Hollow Taco, one of our OGs, but it's basically the solution to make anything holographic. In the most uh, simple way, if that makes sense. It, it looks the most uniform. And then we have Scattered Hollow Taco, a bit more of a galaxy effect, and then Flaky Hollow Taco for like a bit larger, chonkier, more dazzling from far away. This is Reflective Taco, which I need to turn on my other light to show you, because if I go like this, I know I'm purposely blocking part of the camera. So you can see how the little white dots kind of lit up. Someone, thank you, someone. <laughs> see how they light up like the white dots? The reflective taco is like a stop sign at night pigment. It only lights up when the pathway of observation is like directly at a straight angle. So that's why I have to put the light around my camera lens and then you're looking through my camera lens to see it. It's not the same as hollow. I just think, cause you'll need this later for bad bitch. <laughs> this is reflective taco. It's not holographic, it's silver reflective pigments. It looks amazing in the bottle. It looks like diamonds, but that's just because there's so many packed together. But when you put on one coat on the nail, it's gonna be like less obvious. I mean, you can put on multiple coats, but but what you need to do to see it on the nail and most effectively is to put a light like this, <laughs> like around your eye or just in the pathway. See there? It's like, well, now, now it's just ridiculous. Like now you can't even look at it crazy science that's reflective taco and when it's not lit up like that it just looks like a subtle silver sparkle it's just like kind of there it's magical then we have silver flake taco i love silver flake taco on this one i think it's nice and sophisticated kind of shines it up a little bit that's gold flake taco and I didn't have room to try Red Flake Taco or Fallen Flake Taco, the new fall, fall one. But yeah, there we go. That's feeling fiendish. No, I want you to spin. Oh fuck, these ones don't spin. I'm so sad. <laughs> I used to use the ones that spin. Now, the like more circular ones. You can't play the DJ. It's not sophisticated, it's sophisticated. So that was feeling fiendish. And I really like doing this because like, yes, you're getting a classic new creme iconic Sophia shade, yes. But if you're an avid hollow taco collector, one of the main things we specialize in that people love is our ridiculous number of toppers. So you can do all these combinations and really customize what you're looking for. So if you're like, oh my God, there's something about this weird green over top of Feeling Fiendish that is speaking to me or would really match an outfit that I have planned, then like you can do that customization. And I really like the number of options that having toppers and some of our bases can give you, especially with like a limited edition shade, you can make it even more limited <laughs> edition for you. You know what I mean? I'm a topper fiend. Yes, same. <laughs> Taco fiend. Guilty of having all the toppers. Let's do a pull. I kind of want to know. 
Do you, how should I quantify this? Mm -hmm. Do you, thank you, Gaelic garlic girl purchase Zyler. <laughs> do you, do you taco? Do you have, how many hollow taco toppers do you have? Thank you guys for helping me form this question. It's very important to form the question properly. <laughs> all guys how many toppers do i have uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty one i'm not counting matt taco i think it's 21 i'm putting a question mark <laughs> uh over 50 percent but not all. Uh, under 50%, but more than. Fuck. I need five pull options. Suzanne! <gasps> Suzanne! <laughs> Don't make me do this. <laughs> okay, I'll just have to do under 50%. I really wanted, like, the nuance between none and just a couple, but I'm not gonna get it. None. R.I.P. R.I.P. to my data collection. Come on, YouTube. I just, just five. I just need fucking five pull options. Literally everything I do is five. Sophia's collection has five shades. We need five categories. I will not stop until I get five pull options. Susan, come back and fix this. We have five fingers. Yeah, it's just cruel at this point. I think they, they do it on purpose. Why is four the default? I don't know, because they probably thought that there, that five took up too much space. They probably did some like uh, focus group testing and users thought that five blocked the chat and ruined their experience. So four was the optimal amount of like length of the blue block that they felt was appropriate b before it ruined watch time or some shit. <laughs> I'm just making this up. I, I don't actually know that, but I'd believe it if that's what it was. <laughs> they weren't considering the value of data. They were just considering the fucking watch time. Who is Susan? Susan is our maker. We miss her. Anyways, answer in the poll, in this shitty four category poll, how many toppers you have, and I will get ready for the next, the next comparison combo adventure. That was feeling fiendish. Next, let's do bat bitch, cause I already have it prepared. And then we'll move to live painting stuff with spirit fingers over black, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Benji. Thank you, Anna. Xyler T. There's been lots of Xyler purchases. Do you think people saw my poll, my, my poll, my data results and saw that uh, Menchie was winning and they want to even the race out? Okay, let's take a look. How many hollow taco toppers do you have? 33% under 50%. But this is why I wanted another category here because I, I think there's a big jump between like, I just have a couple and I have under 50%. Like I feel like that would split it out more. Yeah. This is kind of like a pretty even distribution though, like all things considered. It's not like it's way disproportionately like 2% have none or something, you know? There's like a good chunk in every category. Wow, damn. 21% <laughs> of you have all 21. Damn, we're all, everyone else is jealous. Okay, you guys are bragging, you're flexing. Good thing this, this data is anonymous. People can't get mad at you. 
28% have over 50, but not all. It's another good chonky chonk. 19% have none, but that's because, because I couldn't have a not applicable category for I don't paint my nails, which would be a clear reason for why you wouldn't have any, a potential reason, obviously not the, the only reason. But yeah, um, we've done this poll before that somewhere between 10 and 20%, it varies depending on when I do it and how many people are in chat, don't paint their nails. So that isn't surprising to me. Thank you for participating in this episode of Simply Data Logical. Susan is an enemy to all of us data nerds. Susan, please come back from the beach. <laughs> we will not rest until you come back. And yeah, obviously there's lots of reasons why people don't necessarily have a topper. Maybe we don't ship to their country. Uh, maybe they haven't been able to afford one once yet. Uh, maybe they don't paint their nails or maybe they only use gel polish or whatever. Yes, we know this. Footnotes. I just don't need to say them all the time. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's do that bitch doesn't spin, just pretend it does, okay? So, Bat Bitch is Sophia's new Midnight Black Shimmer. It's velvety. It's a very fine shimmer. It's like a micro shimmer. I would say it's, actually, that's a lie. Hold on, that's a terrible explanation. I didn't even read my own description. <laughs> it's not, it's not. Uh, <laughs> bat bitch I just sounded like her for like two seconds because I'm like hearing her voice in my head <laughs> from all the shorts <laughs> guys I'm gonna be okay I swear I'm gonna I'm okay I'm fine <laughs> I just have her her voice in my head bat bitch <laughs> let's see her face in the chat where is she Menchie Gang has her face on hand for moments like these. They can just uh, throw up Sophia's face when she's in shock. And uh, she's always here in spirit. There she is. Bat bitch is a black pearl polish. It's a black pearlescent polish with a blue eerie shimmer bite. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah! I'm so bad. I feel like I, that was like not a good impression. I'm sorry, Sophia. You're not here, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bad bestie. Anyways, I have to do this better for my short. God damn it. Bat bitch is a black pearlescent formula that has a blue micro shimmer in it that shimmers in the light. So I wouldn't really call this like shimmer in the same way that... Twilight Shimmer is Shimmer because you see that this Shimmer pigment is larger and more obvious than this. And that's because I consider this more of a pearlescent formula as opposed to a Shimmer, even though it has like shimmering properties, I guess, you know, if you observe it with your eye. You did well enough that I actually did a double take, really? Thanks. I just did a triple take of that sentence, so we're even. <laughs> Good lord. I like the small glitters. That is something Sophia said, actually, that we realized in her feedback, her early feedback, is we had a bunch of prototypes that were, like, we had larger, chonkier glitter options, you know, with, like, hex glitters floating around. And she seemed to gravitate way more towards the more sophisticated, like, smaller, more linear pigments, whether it was a shimmer or a glitter type of polish. And um, yeah, that was clear. So we continued to prototype in the more sophisticated realm, which really just translates to smaller pieces of pigments, which is interesting. But I think it totally, like it makes sense. It suits her. It's a little bit more like sophistic sophisticated. <laughs> and she was really loving the pearlescent style formula because it just does something different if you're gonna go in the black direction as opposed to glitter. I love pearlescent polishes. Can we see the rejected prototypes? If you're a hollow swatcher or royalty, you'll see them next in the next two weeks. Thank you, Gina. So this one's kind of special. In some lights, 
You know, it just looks dark there. It's black, kind of. It's off black. But in the main light, when you're hitting, come on, hit the light. There you go. There we go. Oh, it just, it catches your eye and the, it has that blue midnight velvet kind of look. And the pigment is fine enough to really give you that glisten that is uniform and not too blingy. It's not blingy. It's sophisticated. You know, it's like the ladies going out tonight. <laughs> The ladies are going out. Me and Sophia, okay? After lunch day. The ladies are going out tonight. Vibes. They're such bat bitches. Look at those baddies. Anyways, let's look at combos. Okay. This is bat bitch on its own. So this is our control, okay? You hear me? Control. The one with the black dot is one coat of bat bitch over one coat black, which I thought was interesting. So if you're like in a hurry and you don't care about the eggplanty undertone, which let me just demo that because I feel like looking at it in the bottle doesn't really do a good representation of what the undertone of this polish brings. And now remember you have human skin so when you paint nail polish on your nail, which is on top of human skin, it might look different than how it looks in the bottle. See, do you see this like eggplanty undertone? So this is a buildable pearlescent polish. Now this swatch wheel doesn't have human skin in case that's not obvious. It's just like a whitish swatch wheel, okay? So when you paint this on human skin, <laughs> the thing Simply Illogical says many times, okay? Yeah. It pulls a bit eggplanty. It has like an interesting reddish undertone. And then when you build it up in the three coats, then you'll have that full blacker bat bitch effect. just for demonstration purposes for all the AIs out there, okay? It's gonna look different on you than humans. Will there be a restock of plum menchie sweater? What, they're gone? Why are you guys buying everything? You gotta relax, okay? I cannot keep up. This is gone? No, it's not, but I'm wearing it right now. Oh my God, some of the sizes are gone. That's your fault. Okay, the, just two sizes are gone. There's still some sizes left. Um, yeah, the, the vendor who makes these says that they restock sizes on a interval basis and it could take approximately a month, but that's just like their general guidance. It doesn't mean it's true every time, but yeah, they, they try to restock sizes in these, these guys, um, once a month, but I, I don't have a specific answer. They're not limited edition though, so. Okay, so this is a black pearlescent formula that's gonna be buildable, but see it has that special undertone that you're like, what, I was not expecting that. <laughs> and when you build it up on your skin, it might actually lean a little bit reddish around the edges, also depending on your skin tone. But that's why I wanted to try it over black because it is reading a little bit, just a little bit different. Now that's it matte, which is so weird. Like I wanna touch it, I wanna touch it. Yes, touching it was nice. Menchie hair. Oh my God. Okay, look, fuck. <laughs> every every cut of this will just have Menchie hair. There, there she is. Hello, friend. Um, we're doing things to your collection. Don't mind us. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. Uh, we were just talking about how sophisticated bad bitches, not sophisticated, sophisticated. Look at it matte. Like how weird is this in a good way? That is bat bitch velvet. Okay, it does pull the shimmer out of it. This is with a matte taco. So you put on a 
matte top coat as the final finish. There she is. S chat, how does it, I was gonna say chat, Saf. What's your name? Saf, how does it feel seeing chat put your face in, <laughs> in the chat? <laughs> and now they won't stop. <laughs> You're just gonna be a permanent fixture. <laughs> then she wants to, to say hi. Okay, chat, you, you're gonna scare her away. I still don't know how I feel about this emoji. <laughs> it's so funny. I loved your reaction. When you first saw it, you had no idea. Well, Sophia will always be in the chat this way. It was the best way to guarantee that. I feel like after being exposed to the detective's antics, the emoji is pretty tame. Yeah, true. It's true. Okay. Anyways, um, bat bitch Matt. Uh, yes, please. And then I tried some toppers over it. Okay, this... This is kind of wild, I acknowledge. Bat bitch already has a sophisticated shimmer to it. So I don't think you need to do too much to it. Honestly, where'd I put it? Like, where's my reference category? Because it's already, it's, it's a sophisticated pearlescent already. But if you are chaotic and you're like, yeah, I know it's sophisticated and supposed to be a little understated and beautiful, but I would like to be annoying and obnoxious and I want more then you can do this. <laughs> then I explored some options for you. So Silver Flake Taco is just killing it for me so far. I think it's cause it really works with the cool tone palette, which is most of what Saf went with. So that's our metallic foil flake topper. And I'll just, nope, that's not it. Oh, I don't have it. It's on my other desk. Thank you, Noah, repping Xyler. But I feel like like this is one of my favorites so far. Is Silver Flake Taco over Bat Bitch. Oh, it looks more like shiny in the night, like sparks in the night. That's Gold Flake Taco, just out of curiosity. If you are like a gold and midnight girl, boy or envy, then that, that looks amazing. Uh, I really like it with the silver though. I feel like it complements it. That's everything taco. That is literally Bat Bitch chaos in the night. You know, you can't decide what to do. Just go wild. <laughs> solar unicorn skin is like a black opal like obsidian opal it's fucking beautiful and i'm not surprised because when i've put solar unicorn skin on top of electrostatic which is our blackish kind of bluish purple though um linear hollow you get a similar cool effect thank you maddie eye of sauron vibes how do you pronounce that? Sauron? 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 I'm gonna look it up. Eye of Sauron. Why do I wanna be French with that? Oh. Okay. Okay, girl. Yeah. Nice. Sauron. Sour. Sour Ron? Okay, you guys aren't even agreeing with each other. You're all saying different things. Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, I didn't pay attention to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it was too long. Okay, I saw that movie. It was too long. <laughs> I know it, but I didn't pay attention. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why is Mark Zuckerberg here? Wait, what? Okay, anyways. <laughs> Yes, it has those vibes. She thinks it's one movie. No, I know they were all long. What about the extended edition? No, take it back. No, no extension, please. <laughs> okay, what about the blue one? Does this look like elves or something from the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> this is Sonic unicorn skin and I wanted to try like the polar opposites here. So you could have red fire flames over bat bitch or blue like icy frozen bat bitch heart like my cold dead bat bitch heart like doesn't have time for you 
kind of vibes. It does look like ice. I really like it over the sophisticatedness of fat bitch. It just gives it a little mm, dash of something. Thank you, Kelsey. Everyone's buying Xyler today. No one. Sorry, Menchie. And she's right here listening to you. Thank you, Amelia. Been here a long time. I love you and Saf. Amelia loves you, Saf. <laughs> Ice dragon. Yeah. Ice dragon. Yeah. Nice. Okay. My favorite over bat bitch is reflective taco. Okay, listen. Now, Sophia, I'm, I'm just telling them, but we had prototypes with reflective pigments in it, including some like kind of midnighty vibes ones. Um, I think maybe you thought they were just too glittery. You're like, it's too much. I want sophisticated bat bitch, listen. <laughs> Which is, I I agree. We landed on like the perfect shade for you and that fit the collection. But if you're really annoying like me and you want to annoy people's eyeballs and <laughs> in the middle of the night when you roll up to the stop sign, then put reflective taco over bat bitch and it looks exactly like a midnight sky. So if I turn on this light, I'm gonna do the annoying thing again where I block the lens. Look, look at it. That's bat bitch with reflective taco on top. And we're looking at it directly through the cam. Yes, you're looking through a camera. And uh, it's kind of like a the safety feature, you know? Like warning, there's a bat bitch coming. You better wash the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Stare harder, look harder. It's the midnight sky. NASA doesn't even know how to define this. They don't know what to do, okay? They are stumped. And then when I take my light away, it just looks like a soft, faint midnight sky, you know? It's just like, it's kind of there, but you didn't really know until you looked through the right telescope. Reflective Taco is hitting that cart. Yes, right now there are people smashing the checkout button with Reflective Taco. <laughs> Just pick it up on your next order. Don't buy anything now. Or when we do the Sophia restock, then you can add reflective taco to your cart. When Bat Bitch comes back in stock, cause it's sold out. So I'm just advertising something you cannot buy. I under, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, Bat Bitch is one of the, the polishes that went early. And if you hit notify me on the website, we will be doing a small restock. That's the plan, still working with the lab. But I think reflective taco on top, fucking delicious, don't eat it. Okay, moving on to things that wouldn't be my first choice for a combo, but I had to try. Like I wanted to know what it looked like. It was the experimenter in me, you know, and you guys, cause you left it on my community page. So I tried it. This is halogen glow, which is that kind of pale pink to yellow glimmer shimmer. I think it's just too powerful of a shimmer that now we've kind of lost that bitch. So I'm not sure it's really worth it. Like you might as well just put it over like indigo away or something or black, you know? But if you're bored, it's fine. This, this is actually kind of cool because it looks different under different lighting, which is hard for me to show you in this studio. But this is linear hollow taco. So just our classic linear means rainbows form in a line, a tight knit line over top of bat bitch. So you get it like it's looking hollow, but also if I turn off all the lights and I'm like uh, in the shade or something, you're gonna see a little bit of the black pearlescent base instead of the hollow, which is actually kind of a nice counterpart to see it a little bit differently in different lightings. Unlike electrostatic, which doesn't have pearlescent pigments in it. So it'll just look kind of flatter or grayer in, um, in direct lights. But this one looks more like this. Like you do see the bluish undertone come a bit. Linear hollow looks great. Sophia said it, you heard it. Okay, someone asked for this because they are chaotic, of course. This is Glamethyst. <laughs> 
<laughs> which is one of the limited edition royalty polishes. She's actually still in stock. Toe Beans is not. R.I.P. Toe Beans. I know Sophia just put Toe Beans as one of her fave not collab shades in the Q&A that we sent to our email list this morning. Toe Beans is gone. R.I.P. Sorry, Seth. I'll see if we have an extra for you if you ever need more. But she is done. Um, Glamethyst is still hanging on. I think that looks really pretty, but it does cover it up a lot because that's like a chunky glitter pigment. It's not really supposed to be a topper. There's a difference between polishes. There's a difference between polishes that are intended to be toppers like these. So you can really see the base through and it helps complement it and it just changes it a little bit. And polishes that are really supposed to be applied on their own, but the science experimenter in us all still wants to put one coat on something just to see, you know what I mean? But it's not advertised as a topper. It looks cool, but to be honest, honestly, you'd probably get the same effect putting one coat of Glamethyst over black. You're not, you kind of, you're losing the bat bitch. So I still think to maintain bat bitch, you'd want to use one of the more intended toppers, the tacos that are supposed to be toppers. Or do whatever the fuck you want, okay? I don't care, I'm not gonna call the police on you. It's fine. How about this? Should we call the, the Halloween police on you for this? Guess, guess what this is, go, guess. I'll put it even closer. Oh, when I give you super macro, you can see bat bitch better. Yeah, what is this? It's Xyler! That's right, this is one coat of Xyler the cat which is not a topper, but it looks like Halloween, <laughs> right? So Xyler the cat has orangish copper hollow glitters in an orange jelly. But if you just do one coat, it'll be faint enough on the jelly that you'll still get bat bitch underneath. And it literally looks like Halloween night with spash, uh, spashed, smashed pumpkins, like smashing pumpkins, smashing bat bitches, smashing bats, pumpkin bats. Bat pumpkins. Gordy bats. I think it's really cool. It's a Halloween bat, yeah. This is a, I unlocked a really good combo for Halloween. So make sure you buy Xyler the Cat <laughs> because Venchi always sells better. Yeah, Xyler is a topper now. I'm gonna reclassify him. It's a pumpkin spice bat. I love that Skelly Bean. Your name is also very apt for this. Pumpkin spice bats, here you go. A pumpkin spot. oh, you know how like, thank you someone. <laughs> you know how pumpkin spice is very like basic bitch, you know, like uh, it's pumpkin season for basic bitches. Uh, this is pumpkin spice for bad bitches. <laughs> it is the ultimate Halloween combo. Okay. So that was Bat Bitch, and that's all the wheels I have prepared, but now let's do some live painting. And I think I'm gonna start with Spirit Fingers over Black was commonly requested. And so was trying to dupe Spirit Fingers, which spoiler alert, alert you can't, because it's that beautiful, but we'll try. So I'm gonna grab here, I'll show you my bases. I'm gonna do some black. I have some cold slate and I have some duct tape gray. These are all cremes. Can we see bat glitters? Oh. Uh, yeah, let me grab my other wheel because I did all that during testing originally for Sophia. So that work is done. <laughs> let me just move this. So hold on. Bat bitch plus got cake. It's really going to hide it though because got cake has already very tight pearly pigments in it that like you might as well just put it over a dark color. I feel like, yeah, because it's so tight. I'm not saying it won't look cool. I'm just saying like, it's probably won't look that different. So we're gonna do, I'm just gonna paint some black. Painting in the air is hard. 
Um, what am I doing? Just one black. That was cold slate. Let's duct tape gray. So these are our cremes. And people like to add like shimmers or something to make them sparkle. And you'll see, and maybe I'll just explain it when I actually do it, but there, there is a difference between putting a topper over top of a creme. But let's just demo it. It's easier to see at the same time. So just let me get, let that dry. I'm gonna do another coat. But just do I have all the bases I wanna do? I'm gonna put um, spirit fingers on top of one of them. And then spirit fingers. No, there's no point in putting spirit fingers on top of gray. That's kind of stupid. But I'll put spirit fingers on top of black and then I'm gonna put polar princess and scorched earth on these two. Is there another base color that I should apply? Bring me the teal? Oh, that's so weird. I'll try it. And let me just preface this by saying that Spirit Fingers is not a topper, okay? We're, we're going against the rules here. Listen, this is not what you're supposed to do. But we're just curious. I didn't need to do two coats of black. It was just a force of habit. Oops. Two coats of one coat black? I'm going to jail. Are you guys getting your Halloween manis? Your ideas ready? I'm gonna grab the bat wheel. Simply, is there a reason that all colors can't be made one coat? Yes. Because they would be just too thick to apply and self-level properly. So on average, most nail polish is going to need two to three coats to be opaque and self-level at the same time. There's also some pigments that really they benefit from building them up. So you can like see through the layers and get more of a dimensional look. That's really true for like a glitter polish, for example, like trying to make this go on in one coat would, and it be fully opaque, would not, like it would never work. Even if you made it like thick enough, it's gonna apply unevenly. It's not gonna give you that nice depth that is so pretty about polishes especially ones that have like sparkly pigments in it even smaller pigments like bat bitch there's something about the buildable levels that help you see depth so just because a nail polish takes more than one coat doesn't mean it's bad but even with cremes if we're talking about cremes like there is just no good self-leveling nail polish that is opaque in one coat that comes in every colors unless you're talking about stamping nail polish but stamping nail polish is not supposed to be for just applying normally on the nail 
And if you do that, thank you, Chiara and Nima. It gets like way too thick, way too early and starts to chunk even as you're painting it on. So that's why the easiest colors to make opaque in one coat is gonna be like a black, like the darkest shade ever because the pigment is already so dark. So the pigment, if the pigment itself is dark enough, then it's easier to make that closer to a one coat polish. And the lighter the pigment is like a baby pink, it makes sense that those are gonna take more coats in theory, you know, to build up opacity. Okay, let's just paint. Okay, so here's spirit fingers. The winner, 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 Genya. This was Spirit Finger. She flew off the fucking shelves. She is gone. So this was a new formula for Hollow Taco. It's like, it's a cool gray jelly base and it has this magenta reddish shimmer. Is it pink or magenta or red? I don't know. We could keep fighting about it. I think we called it magenta hyphen red. <laughs> but it's a micro shimmer. So it is smaller than like, this is scorched earth just for reference. So it is not the same product as what's in our shimmers. It's um, like, I call this a standard shimmer, let's say. I mean, there's nothing standard about it, but you know, for our purposes, this is more of a micro shimmer so that it doesn't really look like blingy shimmer it almost gives off a uniform glow when it's on the nail it's, it's more of a glow you know what i mean like it's more uniform whereas our shimmer toppers like definitely look more shimmery different looks thank you Kay. do more micro shimmers okay micro shimmers are easy we've just been um We've, we've definitely wanted to fill out like our linear hollows because those are so good for coverage with like that chatter who was asking about like, oh, can you make more things opaque uh, in less coats? Linear hollows is your answer. It's so easy for like new users and they're very impressed by that formula. So we've done a lot of that, a lot of glitters cause that's like just fucking in your face blingy. But yeah, micro shimmer is something that, uh, you know, we could, we could definitely add. The truck is not micro, it's average size. No, the, the truck is micro and so is your shimmer. <laughs> Spirit Fingers also has a dash of scattered hollow. See, see the hollow? <laughs> it's just, it's snuck in there. It's spooky. It looks spooky in it. But yeah, we're really proud of this shade and Saf picked a good one because this was one of the first prototypes. And also, do you see at the bottom of the bottle how it's looking like it shifts to this ghoulish yellowy green? That's the micro shimmer at a hard angle. So the same way that our shimmer toppers will kind of shift in a color if you're like at a hard angle, this will do that as well. See how that, oh there it's more red, but it does travel to like a ghostly yellow green. If you like go like this, put your nails up to a light in the bathroom, you know, you're supposed to be peeing, but you're just taking extra time. And then you go like this and you're like, yes. Oh my God, I see the yellow. <laughs> Do that. You'll make friends. Okay. So now I'm gonna paint it over a creme basis, which is not prescribed. Okay, like this, is, let me, <laughs> this is not a topper. It is a buildable full coverage nail polish that you're supposed to build up in three coats to get that full spooky gray with magenta red shimmer effect. But we're gonna break the rules and just put it over a crumb just to see, you know, just to see. So I'm gonna put it over black first, which will be darker, ready? Wait, I need a control. Much darker, yep. I mean, obviously, we knew that. Because Spirit Fingers is a jelly-ish polish and it takes two to three coats to build up for the full effect, if you put it over something 
yeah, it's a bit translucent in the first coat. That's kind of cool. It darkens it. It's more like galaxy vibes. Ordered Xyler again. <laughs> fall bundle and the Saf collection box. Love them all for fall. Will you release reflective toppers in different colors? Maybe, maybe I have a thought in my head. Detectives. Can you figure it out? Probably not. Okay, let's keep painting. Um, I'm gonna put it over Bring Me the Teal. Ready? Okay. What? It, it's weird. Like you can kind of see the teal. Well, I painted it badly, like literally, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna hold it up to a control. Yeah, Spirit Fingers on its own is lighter, which makes sense because we're putting it over a dark creme. But that's so interesting. You can change the undertone of it. I'd probably still do two coats, honestly, of Spirit Fingers just to level it out a little bit more. I mean, it depends on how you apply it. But that's a, that. Okay, cool. All right. So if you want to darken it up, you could do it over black. And now let's try shimmers. And this will be how I tell, explain the difference between a shimmer and a polish with integrated shimmery stuff. Okay, um, what was I gonna do? Sh uh, Scorched Earth and Polar Princess, I feel like are in the closest proximity. So we've got Spirit Fingers, Polar Princess, which is pink shimmer, and then Scorched Earth, which is more orangish yellow. These are shimmer toppers, and they are larger pigments than the micro shimmer in Spirit Fingers. So it's not a one-to-one -one pigment conversation here either, but let's see what they look like. Because one thing that I've definitely raved about for four years now is how you can apply a shimmer topper or a hollow topper, or whatever, and make any boring creme look cool. So let's let's do that. So this is cold slate, duct tape gray. And we'll start with Polar Princess. And Scorched Earth. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. I should have just painted it on the same wheel. <laughs> Silly me. Here. Now we'll do spirit fingers. And we will be building her up. And actually you can see here the difference with just in the one coat. Micro shimmer and shimmer shimmer. <laughs> Different pigment. What if you double up on toppers and do a layer of each shimmer on the same nail? Damn, that's overcomplicating it. But I hear you. Hollow micro shimmer is linear hollow taco. Kind of. Well, sort of. It's the size of the pigment that really changes it. I just have to wait for that to dry so I could do the three coats but yeah 
the size of the pigment will change whether it looks like sparkly and like bokeh-y, you know, like blingy, or will it, or, what was I gonna say? It'll look sparkly or blingly, blingly, that's not a word, <laughs> blingy. Thank you, Kiki. <laughs> or it'll look glowing. And that's the size of the pigment that can really change that. Too much for my brain? No, we're learning here. Why not use a UV light to dry them faster? These are regular nail polish, not gel polish, which uh, is more accessible to the average person because you don't need special tools. You don't need to use UV lights or anything. They just dry in the air. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. You also don't need any salon or uh, knowledge of gel other other products, which you should have if you are using gel polish at home. You should have some baseline understanding of um, what the products do and how they work and some of the science behind it. It's recommended for consumer importance. Beautiful. Yes, la, la, la. lovely. I bling, you bling. Okay, I'm just gonna, hmm, what? I know what I'll do. Let me top coat them and then I'm gonna explain the difference. But I wanted to let that dry so I could do three coats of spirit fingers to give you the proper control on the same wheel. But let me just put a taco on them. Now we add a glossy taco. So I don't always put a top coat on when I'm just doing comparison swatch wheels live, but I definitely added them like to the ones I showed you earlier because top coats will make them shiny. So you always wanna be adding a quick dry top coat on anything you do, not only because it'll help make your nail polish last longer, but also when you're wearing holographic or shimmer or special effects polish, you wanna make sure that you're showcasing them in the best way. And a quick dry glossy top coat will bring out the shimmer or the hollow. Sometimes polishes can dry down a bit matte. That can be normal depending on the pigment. So it's really just like safe in a way to make sure that it's looking its sparkliest, it's best, it's glossiest, it looks glassy. So even if you don't care about your nails drying quickly, which I don't know why you wouldn't care about that. I literally don't know anyone who doesn't care about that. But adding a top coat is kind of essential. Like, and we did a poll recently of Hall of Royalty members and asked them if they always add a top coat. And it was like, I think it was like 2% of people said they don't regularly add a quick dry top coat to their nails. And I was like, excuse me, jail. So we sent them to jail. We decided no more emails for you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no more emails for you. Bye, Saf. Make sure you use uh, her face on the way out. Okay, now I'm doing the third coat of Spirit Fingers to get it to what it's supposed to be. There we go. Yes. Oh, fuck, she is good. She's a good one. That's one way to skew your results. Oh, we still got their results and then sent them to jail. <laughs> now they just can't answer any subsequent service. Base coat too, motherfuckers. We asked the same question, but how often do you use a base coat? And it was something like 3%, a larger proportion people said they never use a base coat. And I even removed Ben's answer from the data. Shocking, I know. Sophia, shocking. It's crazy. They are also not getting any more emails from us. No wonder your fans are unbearable. You are rude. 
Are you being as sarcastic as I'm being? Yes, definitely. You are. Okay. Just so we're all on the same page with this uh, sarcasm. <laughs> I'd be curious to layer cold slate and duct tape gray, then add shimmers. That's not going to work. And I'll tell you why. Because our crumbs are so opaque that layering them, you're just it's just going to look like the last one you did. But you could mix them. Like if you mix them together, and you could do that. <laughs> How does this jelly compare to the anniversary jellies? Blah, sorry, I literally can't read. How does this jelly compare to the anniversary jellies? And can they be used together? They are very different and I don't think the vibes look like they would be good together, honestly. But it's it's subjective, you know, like it's up to you. Where is my retro wheel? Man, I don't know where anything is in this house. Oh, here it is. Or, that's not really it. Okay, so the retro jellies are translucent jellies, like very see-through. See, like very see-through. Well, okay, not very see -through. Sorry, let me say that again. They are more see-through than spirit fingers because even when you use three coats of a retro jelly, it's designed to be still a little bit translucent. So you might see what's called like your visible nail line, like the white line-ish at the end of your nail. But Spirit Fingers is full coverage in three coats. So like on this nail, you're not seeing like the line of my nail. It does look full coverage once it's built up. Whereas these jellies are more see-through on purpose because they're trying to look like like the jelly shoes or like clear colorful technology with sparkles in it so different type of jelly so i like i don't really like using the word jelly to describe something like spirit fingers because like yeah it's more translucent but like it's also not trying to do this you know what i mean like very different very different vibes the vibes are not the same <laughs> Okay, but let me just add a taco on spirit fingers so we're all even here. And then I will walk you through this wheel. Give my little simply speech. It's not a Crelly either, I don't know. Honestly, like the nail community conf is confusing. Like some people say, if it's not a jelly, but it's kind of transparent, then it must be a crelly. Crelly meaning just like smushing two words together of creme and jelly. But like, I don't agree. I don't think that Spirit Fingers is a creme plus a jelly either. Like to me, that's like, well, no, not really. It's more just like a, it's a bit sheerer and it's a buildable formula with micro shimmer. There's no like creme in this. <laughs> it's not half creme. So I don't know. I understand why it's just like the simplest term that people use to describe this like in between stage. I just feel like it's kind of confusing and like not really true. It's a it's a jelly -assy. <laughs> no, no. I'm like, no, like not everything. It's a preservative. It's a jam. <laughs> what? OK, let's walk through this. It's just, it's a spirit fingers. That's what it is. Okay, recap. Bring me the teal, one coat black, one coat of spirit fingers on top. Cold slate, duct tape gray, cremes as a base, then topped with polar princess shimmer. Hold on, I'm gonna grab them out. I'm gonna redo that because I want these here. It'll help it look better in the explanation phase. There we go. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. 
Don't mind me. Lovely. Let's do, let's uh, re redo. <laughs> Redux. Bring me the teal, one coat black underneath spirit fingers. And then we're trying to see how some of our grayish bluish cremes compare to something like Spirit Fingers. So we have Cold Slate with Polar Princess and Scorched Earth Shimmer on top, and then Duct Tape Gray with the same toppers. Here is our control. There's Sophia's Spirit Fingers. Let's just do a little showcasing. As you can see, I don't think we can dupe it with the cremes and shimmer toppers that we have. This is Spirit Fingers on top, so that's, ignore those. <laughs> Cold Slate is way bluer and Duct Tape Gray is way lighter. Like, is I interesting. And then the biggest difference for me is the size of the shimmer. So these shimmers are larger. They're a little bit more obvious in terms of their, their particle size. And Spirit Fingers has a micro shimmer. Not only is the size of the shimmer different, but also how it's incorporated in the formula makes it look different. So a shimmer sitting on top of a creme, yeah, can look kind of shiny and cool from far away, but up close, you kind of notice that it is sitting on top of the surface. Whereas a shade like Spirit Fingers, the shimmer is incorporated throughout the base. So you get a little bit more of a multi-dimensional builded look. And that's the biggest difference between just putting a topper over a creme and having like a custom through and through shimmer or whatever it is throughout the formula is there's gonna be a difference in the depth. Let me pull in a little bit closer. So you can kinda, so my editor can use this in a short better. <laughs> there, you can kinda see those two beside each other. Do you see what I mean by like the depth of the shimmer and the way in which it kind of glows from under, from the lowest coat it's glowing? That's not to say that shimmer toppers aren't fucking beautiful, but they just glow differently. Yeah, it's smooth maybe is a little bit, is a good descriptor. It has this like smooth from within, glowing from within like a, a JLo ad would tell you or something. And if you missed out on Spirit Fingers, we are doing a small restock. She is coming back, so hit notify me on the website. Is a hollow micro shimmer possible? Um, do you mean hollow plus micro shimmer or do you mean holographic tiny pieces? Holographic Tiny Pieces is basically a linear hollow pigment. So that's what we have in our linear, linear hollows or linear hollow taco. But if you mean mixing this with hollow, like this does have hollow in it. It has a scattered hollow in it that you kind of saw when it was blurry. Woo! If you mix linear hollow with a micro shimmer, they are gonna compete a little bit like they'll start to split each other out. Does that make sense? Like when you add too many pigments, you start to see more variety and then it looks less sophisticated, which can be fine if you just like want the chaos. Like think of everything taco. It's just like that can, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but if you add uh, a linear hollow in here, you would start breaking up the glowing effect of the magenta micro shimmer. Cause I think we definitely tried that, yeah. The linear hollow really like overpowers anything. The second you add linear hollow to a complex formula like this, you you break it up and you're gonna have less of that glowing uniform look. Not that it won't look cool, but it's gonna just look more like a linear hollow, if that makes sense. So that's why uh, we prototyped this with scattered, like just a light dusting of hollow so that it doesn't break up that beautiful magenta flare but you still have a little bit of hollow. Just, just a little. But I want too much, well then you can add a hollow topper. You can add a linear hollow taco on top. That's the beauty of this. 
be chaotic at home. <laughs> Okay, write in the chat what you want me to do next. I'm going to, here, I'll leave these here for you so you can remember. Why is this bad? Blah. I'm gonna do a quick pee out the tea and I will BRB, I run an ad for Susie. Write in the chat what you want me to do next. What I miss? Okay, I'm gonna read my super chats. Oh, oh there's so many. Okay, there. Uh, hi, simply. Hi, Natabine. Here, let me just go to the screen for a bit. Man, can I make a request for tea? I hear him doing things downstairs, though, so I don't know if he's busy. I didn't have my morning tea. I only had the tea after my morning tea. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I missed a T. <laughs> but now I'm busy. We're very busy here. I simply loved Bury Me in Hollow so much that I had to buy two more after receiving the Collector Box Crushed Hollow Till I Die. Yeah. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, Crushed Hollow, now that I have it, I fucking love it. But people don't know its deep, crystallized beauty until they put it on. Hi, cat. Did Sophia consider making a topper? We did talk about a bat topper, but it just like, it's not good. It's not good. Let me explain. Uh, we kind of explained it on the live stream, but um, we did prototype putting the baby bats in a topper. My biggest problem with that is that for the average person who's like, would be purchasing this collection, wants to paint their nails, might have a bit unrealistic expectations of like, when I paint this on my nail, the bats will perfectly evenly apply like this. Like that's just, that's not happened. It's not true. It's never happened. <laughs> In the history of nail painting, no topper with large things in it comes out evenly when, it, when it's being put on. Um, so I really personally feel like the best way to apply something like a, sh a shape that you want seen and placed in a nice way is to get them, is to put them on dry. Is just to like use a toothpick, lick the end of it, and then go like this, and then put the bats on yourself over top of uh, a wet polish, a, a wet coat of glossy taco, a wet clear coat, whatever it is. And I find that that's just a better experience because then you at least know like, okay, I'm gonna place my bats exactly where I want them. Whereas you might have this like unreasonable expectation that if I paint them out of the top, they're gonna apply perfectly. And I thought that like with a new-ish customer base, like with her audience that maybe isn't like super into nail art and like knows that, would have a better, more managed experience doing that. So yeah. We did try it though. And then I was like, I. 
I don't love this for, for this purpose. That doesn't mean that I'm like totally closed off to putting larger glitters in a polish. I think it depends. I think a topper, you really want it to lie evenly on the nail, right? Like if you put on like a silver flake taco, you want it to apply evenly and like look good. Yeah, I don't wanna have to like go like this <laughs> too much for it to look good. But if I have like a, a glitter polish that's like packed with stuff that you build up in three coats, then I'm not as averse to having like larger pieces of glitter because by the time I do my three coats, like, you know, they've had a chance to kind of even out and I can do that. With a topper, it's not really the same thing. So ultimately we did decide to go with the loose back glitter. And then the added bonus is like, you can you can do fucking arts and crafts if you want. I don't know, you, you can throw, throw back glitter at people. <laughs> like what else are people using their back glitter for? You let me know. Oh, I have the back glitters here. Why don't I just show you and then I'll go back to the super chats. On the other shades are right here. This is, this is when I was testing. I don't think I put a top coat on top of this. I just put the little baby bats on top of every shade to see how they would look. Obviously, over feeling fiendish is like the cleanest look because that's over a creme, so there's little competition. But I really like it over spirit fingers too. It actually looks like a ghostly Halloween. Little baby bats, they're so cute. These nails are large, like the swatch wheel has like big thick nails, you know? Like look at my nail compared to it. Okay, I'll go back to this. Let me just read through these and then we can, oh, we're gonna mix polishes. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna make a Franken. That's the last thing we'll do. Susan is an enemy. Yeah, we need fifth fifth poll option. Hello, I'm 40 today. Happy birthday. Glad it's on a stream day so I can hang out with you and do all my nails doing a frost lay and midnight spark gradient. Oh, I love those. My box just got delivered and I'm so excited to start using them. Thanks for the combo demos. Hope you have fun, Amber. I can't wait to try each of Spirit Fingers and Bury Me in Hollow over Feeling Fiendish. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought to put a crushed hollow over a creme because then you're kind of gonna miss out on the beauty of a crushed hollow, which is building that dimensional, like crystallized kind of look. But you know, experiments. Carrie Jo, thank you. Sorry, I'm late to the stream. Did you see Roots did a Barbie collab? Literals, yeah, I did. I did see it. Will there be a restock? Oh, I answered that. Answered that. That bitch plus answered that. Does Spirit Fingers work for uh, sandwich like retro? I'm gonna say no because Spirit Fingers has like the spooky gray jelly is a little bit cloudy, but it wasn't designed to be like sheer enough to see through on purpose. It's supposed to be a buildable three coat polish to see the micro shimmer. You're welcome to experiment, but like, yeah, it, I think it would have, it should, if that's the goal, it would have been formulated differently and wouldn't have had as impactful shimmer on three coats because of the intensity of it. Ordered Zyla, okay, I already answered that. Is it possible to make a hot, bright pink in glitters? Uh, well, we have Party Punch. It's kind of bright. I saw people put Party Punch on top of Hot Wire Pink. That's interesting. Um, the jelly is something that can be customized, but the specific color of glitter is not always we can't always do exactly everything you imagine up um, because it depends on availability and making sure everything that should be a nail polish is appropriate. How does this jelly compare to the anniversary? We already answered that. Can you use a matte taco on all of them? I don't have a wheel with all of them, but I did show what Bat Bitch and Feeling Fiendish looks like. I moved my brunch reservation last week when I heard about the launch. It's out for delivery, let's go. And brunch was just as good on Sunday. There, there you go, perfect. Is a hollow micro shimmer, okay, we answered that. Spirit Fingers and Xyler over Feeling Fiendish separately. Xyler would look weird over Feeling Fiendish. Like, I don't think they they would like each other. You know what I mean? But Menchi would probably look better, I think. 
Any thoughts on colors with reflective pigment added in, like black, deep purple, deep red? You mean the color of reflective pigment? So we've had Double Dare, which had red reflective pigment in a black to red multichrome. That was my limited edition last year's birthday polish. Um, maybe, maybe plotting some others. Late Checkout is goldish orange reflective pigment in a purpley shimmery shifty shade. That's a very Halloween shade too. Late Checkout, go through your collection, pull that vacation shade for Halloween. Not sure if it's been asked, but what's your favorite shade from the collection? Um, I don't pick favorites. I don't know. I mean, I like them all. I guess I really like the Crushed Hollow because I lied about there being a Crushed Hollow and now there is. So let's say that. That's Bury Me and Hollow. What are your thoughts on ATC Combo Spreadsheet? Do you personally use it? Uh, I believe that's a fan-made spreadsheet, which is amazing. We showed that on stream a while back. Do you swatch on no mess mat? No, I swatch on swatch wheels. I, I do a lot of this. That's that's my method, not on the, the mat itself. I have not received my order yet, but I can't wait. I also got my birthday gift and second reward. Woo! I chose the, the dad hat, let's go. I'm getting a friend into nail polish and just had to have a long conversation with example swatches to explain how matte top coat works and works on different finishes. I forget not everyone knows what I consider common sense. Yeah, that's why I try and explain things that I've definitely explained before, like shimmers over cremes versus whatever. Cause yeah, every there's always gonna be someone who maybe hasn't heard me say that. So yeah, it's kind of fun. It's education, baby. <laughs> Can we expect to see a birthday polish this year? Yes. What should I do? It's already decided, so you can't change it. What should I do for my birthday? <laughs> what should I do, Menchi? She just raised her hand. That's so cute. <laughs> Go on, tell me what I should do. It's not gonna change what's already been decided. It's already in production. It's probably already made. <laughs> um, sh uh, spoiler. I will have a birthday this year. That's right. Release a bunch of pretty polish. Do games with Jen and Ben. Shave your head, no. Birthday release? Yes. There will be a birthday release. And this year it is, it's long overdue. Wolfen, congrats on the new launch. Thanks for the super chat. By the way, off topic, customer support didn't give me much info, but why does my, I, I this is not customer service, but you may contact them again and ask them for more clarity and they will be happy to assist you. Hey chat, are we excited for birthday? Will the fall bundle be restocked when the birthday polish comes out? Uh, we are working on the fall bundle restock. I don't have a timeline because we're gonna worry about the Sophia ones and then the fall stuff. But yeah, like the fall stuff is not limited edition, so it's coming back. I just don't have a date yet, but just hit notify me on the bundle or on whatever shade you were looking for. Maybe it was fall and flake taco. Hit notify me. That will be the best way to know on the website. Give, give them your email. Okay, where, where were we? What did I say we were doing? <laughs> What, should we do other combo combos or just mix? Let's pull. What now? Do we do more of this or do we mix them all together and see what color it makes? <laughs> That's a Franken. That's stealing Sophia's word. 
Franken. I mean, I don't know if she invented that. Don't get mad at me. It's from Frankenstein, the concept, which is, is it a book? Where did Frankenstein originate? Do I have to Google that? Where did Frankenstein first come from? Who did that? What is this? Google turned on safe search. Oh, why? What is unsafe? <laughs> now I need to know. Dismiss. No. Wait, what? Excuse me. Originated in a dream on a cold, damp night in the summer of 1816 in Geneva, Switzerland. The dreamer was Mary Shelley, a young creative writer on vacation with other writers trying to pass the time by writing horror stories. Okay. That's where Franken came from. And then at some point in history, in cosmetics, uh, people mix shit together and call it a Franken. And Sophia's well known for that. Christine, how do you pronounce Appalachian? Les Appalaches. The only association I have to that word is Les Appalaches, which is a chain of mountains in, in the French language. Les Appalaches. What is, what is, why do I know that? Literally, <laughs> municipality in Quebec. <laughs> so Appalachian, <laughs> I know that's not correct, but there you go. You asked, I told you. Now you have to live with that. You pronounced it correctly. Wow, that's a first. It's fucking amazing. Who's from Les Appalaches? <laughs> okay, thanks. We'll try again. Feel embarrassed for asking. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah, I just, I can't do customer service, you know? I don't have your order here. And even if I did, uh, I'm busy. <laughs> Throw an apple at you. Wait, is your hair darker? It looks different. No, it's just what happens when I straighten it. Everyone says that though. Every time I straighten my hair, everyone asks if, it, if I dyed it. The answer is always no. Okay, let's take a look at the poll. What now? 64% said it's Franken time. We're Frankening. Can you get a strong micro hollow glow from within like spirit fingers, but hollow? Um, linear hollow is the closest thing to a micro hollow. If you cut it up more, if you cut up the hollow more, it actually becomes less hollow. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Because actually, I don't even know if it's true. I, let me make something up for a second that I think may be true, but I have not confirmed. But if you cut up the particles that refract the rainbow light, you ultimately like cut their ability, like you cancel their ability to refract the light in the same way. So they end up just looking more like ground silver dust. Like if you grind up linear hollow, you actually might ruin it. It'll just look silvery. And then you just have like gray. Does that make sense? I don't know. It needs the surface. Yes, thank th there's science. It needs the appropriate surface area in the way it was originally formed to maintain the refraction of the light that gives the rainbows. So you can't just crush it more and you're just gonna kill it. You're gonna murder it. You're gonna cancel the hollow. You can't cancel the hollow. So there is a limit to how micro it can be. And that's a uh, hollow facts 101. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, let's do Franken. I'm gonna pull up Sophia. Franken, Sophia, just for some background history context. Our queen Sophia is known for uh, literally mixing everything together ever in the history of any product ever existing. What what has she? What hasn't she mixed? Literally, if I click on this playlist, she's mixed, uh, oh, that's not it. She's mixed soap, soap from Whole Foods, lip gloss from Sephora, soap from Lush, hand sanitizer from unnamed location, bath bombs from Lush, wedding cake, lipstick from the drugstore, melting every candle, beauty guru eyeshadow, lipstick from Sephora, 
highlighters, liquid lipsticks, eyeshadows, foundations. She has literally mixed everything together possible and she refers to that as frankening. The Frankenstein effect where you just like throw a bunch of shit together and see what monster occurs. And I think a lot of people associate like the one that comes to mind, the ones that ins ins inspired her bury me in hollow shade. I mean, I guess it was a couple, but like the melting every lipstick together, that one definitely, I mean, spoiler alert, where is it? Like when you mix all there, like when you mix it all together in the lipstick industry, you end up with that kind of muted, rich berry tone, which was the inspiration for Bury Me and Hollow. Maybe I should pull that up here for comparison's sake. That's Saf Snails. <laughs> Cutie. There, see? Wow. Was there another reveal? Anyways, yeah, you, you get the point. So that's kind of one of her things. There's 30 fucking million views on this video. Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, this is crazy. It took over YouTube five years ago. Damn. But yeah, that's kind of her classic Franken color that she eventually put into like a color pop lipstick collab. Um, and then now a hollow taco nail polish collab, but it's crushed hollow to kind of support the idea that you've crushed stuff and mixed them together, but still have it look nice and not be just like an obnoxiously sparkly weird formula, which we've learned she's not really a fan of. She likes the more sophisticated mix that looks intentional and not chaotic and annoying and weird to apply. Her Franken vids get crazy views, yeah. So she already posted on her main channel. Uh, I won't play it yet because I don't want to spoil it. But if you go to her shorts, she already did. I mixed all my hollow taco polishes together. So I'm gonna mix it now and see how my Franken polish of her collection compares to her mix. Cause we might have different ratios. Let's find out. Okay, let me grab the goods. Uh, her collection, where is it? Sophia collection. I did that wrong. I gotta do that again. Cause I gotta hold a box. There we go. Thank you for your patience. Sophia collection. Nope. You can't see it. There. <laughs> Sophia collection. <laughs> oh my God guys, we're filming a video. <gasps> It's Franken time, baby. It's time to get Franken. An empty bottle. It's a bonus track. I have another one just in case. We don't sell empty bottles because we don't want people to put whatever in our bottle and sell them. You know what I mean? Quality control. But yeah, we're making a bonus track, if you recall from uh, Remix Collection. The one time we gave you empty bottles. Hold on, I'm gonna lay them out and we're gonna do a prediction. Don't cheat. Don't pre-watch her video, unsee it. Unsee her short right now. And I want you to guess in the chat, what color do you think these will make? So we have like a berry color, a grayish color, a mauvey purple, a pearlescent blacky blue, and a steely tealy. What color are they gonna make? What do you think? Dark purple, brown, orange? Of course, of course you would say that. Only you would say that. White? What the fuck? Are you on LSD goggles? Dark purple, a blackberry color. A grayish mauve, a smoky, cloudy purple, eggplant, dark berryish purple, a goat, uh huh, corpse purple. Well, that, now that's a description. Dark plum, cherry cola. Interesting. So you guys have been cheating. 
Let's mix. All right. <laughs> so I have my empty bottle. I'm just gonna pour it right in. Maybe I'll just get this paper towel in case I spill. Good staff impression, thank you. Okay, I tried, I practiced. I practiced for hours in the mirror yesterday. <laughs> I'm just gonna open the bottles. Funnel? Nah, I skipped the funnel. I don't need a funnel. I just pour it straight into the bottle, bitch. I'm too cool for a funnel. You know what it is? I don't wanna waste the polish. And if you pour polish in a funnel before a bottle, you are coating the funnel in the polish and then the funnel gets to hog the polish. So I'm, I will not allow that. I know that's how Sophia did it, but you know, she had to stay true to her beauty science looking aesthetic props. But uh, I'm taking the dangerous route. We're, we're doing danger here. Put your hair back, bitches. <laughs> Put your hair back. I am a wild woman. All right, there's my bottle. Boop. Now let's start with Brucey. So, I'm gonna try and make them all even-ish. Even-ish, like roughly. I'm not measuring, okay, fuck that. You know, we're just gonna pour. I'm, I'm pretty good at guessing. Just like how I do do baking, you know? So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of Brucey first. Not too much, cause we can always go back and add more. Maybe I'll fix this macro lens there. Now he's fixed. Now let's pour in some Bury Me in Hollow, which is already a Franken. So we're adding Franken to the Franken. We might go back and add a second round of each. I just wanna make sure that I've gotten at least enough of the five of them individually, you know what I mean? And then I can add more. Spirit Fingers. Ooh. See? I don't need a funnel. I'm a bartender. I could pour you a nice steady drink of nail polish. <laughs> and Bat Bitch. Here's Bat Bitch. A black pearlescent shade, so that's definitely gonna make this darker. Probably don't wanna overdo it on that one, just so it doesn't end up that black, cause you do have to consider like disproportionate takeovers. You know what I mean? Even if you did like exactly 20% of each five shades, so the proportions are correct, just pigment science, pigment science speaking, the darker colors potentially could take over more. So you might have to adjust accordingly to make it more fair. Does that make sense? Or maybe that's not fair, it depends on how you define it. And now let's add some Feeling Fiendish. However, this is a creme, warning, warning. Thank you, Trisha. She got a men's gang sweater. <laughs> I would like to issue a warning. When frankening and you add a creme, be careful because cremes will kill the hollow and the shimmer. Because they are so creamy and rich and opaque, they'll coat all the shimmers. So just use like a tiny bit to get that color, but not too much. You've been warned. Just one of those, that's it, that's it. That I said that's it, there we go. Oh. <gasps> Look, it's sand art. Oh, that's pretty. Well, I didn't get a bat bitch line. Oh, there, it's at the back. Oh, Jesus Christ. You scared me there. What are you doing there? Okay, 
let's not mix it. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Look, I had like one drip down the side. It's so pretty. <gasps> Look at that bitch blending into spirit fingers. What the fuck? Gradient, gradient idea, alert, alert. Okay, that's fucking beautiful. I do have a little bit of, oh, look how nice it is. Oh, now it's blended. Oh, I unintentionally, hold on, I'm gonna cap it. Wow, wow. We just created the most beautiful sand art shade. It's the Sophia Sand Art Collection. Not available ever. Just on your screens right now or on VOD or in highlights. That is stunning. I don't want to mix it. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna cap the other guys. You guys just stare at this and I'm gonna cap the others so I don't knock them over. Imagine a water marble? No. I mean, I can imagine it if someone else does it. <laughs> Some people have done a water marble. It looks great. It, it wasn't me. Or you could imagine a yogurt lid spill. <laughs> okay, we'll peel this later. Are you ready to Franken mix? This is the entire Sophia X Holo Taco collection in one bottle. Ready? Check it up. Shake it up. Franken, let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I don't have a shaker. <laughs> you should really use like a professional shaker. You know what I mean? To actually get it to look fully mixed, but it'll be shake, shaken, shooken, shooketh enough that at least when I take the paintbrush out, it'll paint. Like it's mixed, but it's not, yeah, I, I already predicted it. It's not gonna be fully, what, what happened to my, I painted my hand, apparently. It's not gonna be fully mixed in the bottle. Did I put a metal ball in? I didn't, I'm a dummy. I don't think I have any extra metal balls. Do I? Do I have any metal balls? I forgot I had them from literally the bonus track one. Oh, why did I use a bottle that didn't have a ball in it? Ya dummy. Okay, I'm gonna drop some balls in, ready? <laughs> See how it didn't really mix at all? Okay. Don't let, don't look at what color it is. Stop looking. There we go. <laughs> Did you know that there's metal balls in every Hollow Taco pigment polish? So you can shake it up. I've awoken a bench. Oh, there we go. That is helping a little bit. It still is the Brucey at the bottom though. Uh, the bottom of the ocean, which makes sense. Cause you know, he's a shark. You wanna hear it? <gasps> I 
it's mixing. It's mixing. It's mixing. Ready? There she is, Frankensaf. With with Brucey kind of hanging in there at the bottom. <laughs> oh there. On that side you can see it blended. Ooh. <gasps> okay, do you remember earlier when I was explaining that if you added something like hollow to spirit fingers, it would break up the pink glow? This is this is exactly what I meant. I can still see that there's a little bit of the magenta shimmer, but it's now more dispersed. This is fun. I can see the black pearlescence from Bat Bitch, but it's become more purple. I can see the micro shimmer magenta from Spirit Fingers. I can see the steely tealy, like a little bit of the undertone popping through from Brucey. And I can see a little bit of the berry crushed hollow just floating in there, like the little bits of berry kind of right there, like berry in the center of the universe. And feeling fiendish, it has a little bit of that movie undertone, just a little. Okay, let's paint. Let's paint. Is there any reason there's no mixing balls in long lasting base? Cause it doesn't need it. It's a uh, pi pigmentless in a way. Smoothing base has pigments in it though. And when I say pigment, like, yes, I know long lasting base is kind of blue, like so technically, but it's such a, it's a different type of pigment. It doesn't really, it doesn't need it. I mean, you could put them in and it wouldn't harm it, but it just doesn't really need it in the same way that something else with a thicker-ish pigment needs it. That was definitely the scientific explanation, a thicker-ish pigment. Okay, ready to paint? Ooh! Go ahead, start naming this in the chat. Let's paint my Franken polish. Sophia would be so proud. I'm gonna do a couple swatches. So we have a couple to look at. Okay, that's pretty. It's, it is like a muted eggplant. You know what it reminds me of? Hold on, I'm speaking too soon. Let me do a couple coats and then I'll tell you. What are some names? Albergine Dream, Frankenberry, Berryful Bruce, Franken Taco, Black Current, Purple Umber, a lighter version of Rainbow Flood with some extra shimmers, Perpeti, Dark Mood, Berry Batty. Oh, that's cute. Saf's turned out similar. We'll compare in a sec. I'll I'll do a screen uh, screen share. Screen compare. Frame and frame. Cosmopolitan. Politan. The. Who said let's Google? Move on over. <laughs> Sophisticated. That's cute. Okay. You know what's fun? This is just like the one coat of Batfish to show you the undertone. That bitch is very dominant in the undertone of this. Okay, that's so fucking pretty. I'm gonna paint it closer. Oh, look at the little like reddish, that's the crushed hollow, it just like popped out. This is so pretty. And also inadvertently an example of what happens when you mix different pig pigments together, that you get that dispersed scattery effect. 
Frank and Friends. Bat Berry, Frank and Saf, Lucid Dreams, Saf and Pretty. Spooky Curse. I like Saftoberfest. I made that up and I commented that on her short yesterday. Saftoberfest. <laughs> Bury me in bats. That's really cute too. Saffenstein. Saffenstein. Simply sophisticated. Sapphic dreams. Very nice. Best fiends. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Skeleton juice. Bat fingers. Frankly, bats. That's cute. Yeah, lots of good ones. You want to know something else that's like kind of genius, but not intentional, but we'll just pretend it was totally intentional. Is there isn't an eggplant purple polish in her collection, right? Like feeling fiendish is like brighter and lighter. So I wouldn't call it quite the same. But Sophia is like a wearer of deep, darker muted purples, right? But there just isn't a shade in her collection that that landed like that. However, when you mix all of her shades, you get exactly that. <laughs> so it's there. It was always there. A muted dark eggplanty purple shade. A dark purple wine. I'm gonna do a third coat. To make sure it's at full saff -pacity. Wow, I can even see like the linear hollow is like split out a bit. Looking like a galaxy. Reminds me of her custom chocolate. It does look like chocolate. Kind of want to eat it. Let me just put that down. Don't forget the bats. Okay, I have to grab them. I love this, it's so pretty. Oh, it reminds me of Nightshade, kind of, right? Here, so Nightshade from the Down to Earth Fall Crimes collection, right? It's close in tone. I mean, obviously this has a lot of like other pigments in it, but similar eggplant kind of muted vibes. That's it, Matt. Cool. Okay, let's put bats on one of them. I, uh, my, my finished baggies are downstairs, so I have like a sample baggie. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was more than a couple. Also, the feedback we've been seeing on the bats is people are like, there's a shitload of bats in the bag. Like a ridiculous amount of bats, like two grams of bats doesn't sound like that much. It's a lot. <laughs> they are very tiny, yet. Like I literally, I did not need this many. It's ridiculous. That was like six times too many. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top coat one of them, place the bats, and then I'll top coat all of them, and then we can compare and discuss. But uh, it needs bats. I gotta work quickly, ready? This is basically a tutorial on how to do bats. 
If you are slower than me, don't use a glossy taco because it dries really fast. Um, but use like a clear top coat. Also get a real toothpick. This isn't a real toothpick. It's like an orange stick. Fuck. <laughs> no! Because there's nail polish on the bottom of it. Here we go. Yeah, use a real toothpick. I don't, I don't know where my toothpicks are. They're downstairs in the kitchen. This is like a cuticle pusher thing, so it's not really as small. But um, basically, you just lick the end of a clean toothpick and then stick the bats right into a wet top coat, I recommend. If you stick them into the wet color coat, you're more likely to get the color of the shade like come around and like suck it up like a quicksand, which like maybe doesn't look as good. So I use clear top coat and then put bats and then do a final top coat on top of them once this glossy taco is dry. But if you're using glossy taco to place bats, yeah, you just gotta work quickly because our glossy taco dries very quickly. Putting these baddies to bed. That's so cute. I'm glad I have an empty bottle to recreate it. You know what you could do? I've definitely seen people do is most people will buy multiple bottles or go through a couple bottles of glossy taco in their lifetime. So if you're nearing the end of your glossy taco or it's just like getting to the point where it's like, okay, you are done, sir, which happens at the end of any good quick dry top coats life. It just becomes kind of like it's time for a new bottle because of air exposure. And, uh, you know, it, it drying, literally trying to dry in the bottle. Um, just empty it. Like, you know, when it's over, it's over. <laughs> you got to let it go and clean out the inside of your bottle with some acetone. So take a little bit of acetone. Like I recommend using hundred percent to, for this to work effectively, pour it inside like your empty old glossy taco bottle and then close the lid and like shake it around and swish it and then do that a couple times to clean out its insides and then once it's clean and dry then you can use that as an empty bottle I'm gonna glossy taco my other wheels here Or you can do it with nail thinner, but I'm trying to save your nail thinner. Most people would rather save their nail thinner for the purposes of thinning out polish. Whereas if you're just cleaning the insides of a bottle, then like, I mean, I mean, up to you. You can waste it if you want. I'm gonna glossy taco my Saftober, Saftober, I can't even say it, Saftoberfest. Gonna glossy taco my Saftoberfest. Wow. And I do want to add one more on this, but I just wanted it to definitely be dry or else you're going to like pick it up from under the bats. Do one matte. Okay, I can add matte once it dries. Give me a second. Let's just do some comparisons, which we can still do. Someone asked how does it compare here? Uh, let me grab Rainbow Flood in a second, but just for other references since I have this right here. This is our dark rainbow collection. And it's kind of a good demo of like the difference between linear hollow and a more mixed formula, a very mixed formula, 
which has linear hollow in it because Brucey is a linear hollow. But the second you start adding like pearlescent and shimmer and a little bit of creme, you dilute the linear hollow effect. So they're not as strong as a rainbow flare line that you see in these, which are just like crisp, clean, clean and clear <laughs> linear hollow. And I guess that would be the closest. That's Violet Nightmares. But actually, you know what? Dead Petals is kind of close in vibes. Ugh. I think I want to wear the Dark Rainbow collection after I'm done wearing Sophia. <laughs> And now let's grab, yeah, Rainbow Flood. Which, very funnily, this was the limited edition remix collection from Hollow Taco's second anniversary, where the concept was what happens when you mix all of our formulas together. So that was the whole premise for that collection. Like we mixed all five of our multi-chromes and got this, mixed like 12 of our hollow glitters, got this, mixed, I think it was just the seven OG rainbow collection to get this, which is rainbow flood, mixed frosted metals to get this and mixed all of our toppers at the time to get everything taco, which we decided to ultimately keep thanks to royalty who voted to keep it. And uh, we, we still sell, even though it's a fucking nightmare to make because it has nine different pigments that are different toppers in a clear base <laughs> anyways this was rainbow flood none of these except for everything taco are available they're from like two years ago but some of you will remember let's see okay i mean like in tone they're actually not as similar as i thought they would be rainbow flood is more bluish undertone yeah, and these ones are more muted, which I'm not surprised at because this ultimately came from this, which are all very bright pigmented. And even when you mix bright and pigmented, they will get more muted. Yes, color theory, color science. However, Sophia's collection is overall more muted. You know what I mean? Like on average, the shades she chose are not like super fucking saturated in your face rainbows like that. So it actually makes sense to me that her Franken is even more muted than our Franken of the OG rainbow collection. You know what I mean? Obviously the formula is different. When you mix a bunch of linear hollows, you still get linear hollow. When you mix different formulas, you get a I don't know how to describe this formula. I would have no idea how to. <laughs> I love her line so much. Yeah. Yeah, she really helped fill the gap for this kind of moody, moody muted colors. But anyways, that's it compared to Rainbow Flood and the rest of our remix collection, which all landed in the kind of purple, grayish blue range. Cause that's just like, you know, the average of everything when it comes to nail polish, every nail polish that I have ever mixed when I mixed my 500 hollows video, when I mixed all my nail powders, it always ended up kind of like this color. <laughs> it's the Franken formula. Okay, now let's paint it matte and finish off the bats. And then I'm gonna compare the color to Sophia's Franken. And see if we're really bat besties. So I'm just gonna paint another glossy taco over the bats, which is how I think probably looks best just to seal them all in. If you want them to last a little bit longer, but like, yeah, you know, a bat might snag. They're not immune to snagging but they're tiny, tiny so that they are the least likely to snag versus like larger bats on the market, in my opinion. And I'm gonna add some matte taco. Let's mention here. And here's matte taco, which we'll let dry down. 
to see what her shade looks like. Matt, I can't see. Did I get that side? We'll find out. So it's still wet, but you can watch it dry. <laughs> you want to watch paint dry? Okay, cool. Me too. I'll raise it a little bit for you. Watch it dry. Keep watching. Don't look away. Please sell this color. <laughs> Honestly, like, we thought about it for like five seconds. I don't know. I don't know, man. But then it's like, what? Or do we have to change the collection box? Do you sell it as an individual beside? Is it confusing? Does it take away from her main five shades color story. Are people only gonna buy the mix because they think that is the equivalent of all five when like, that's not really what it is. It's like, yeah, so we're not selling it. So relax. <laughs> but I feel like from a marketing perspective, it would have been a bad idea to mix them right away and show you guys like, oh, look at how they look like together. Cause then it will distract from the main event, which is her color palette and the shades that she wanted to, you know, felt like anchored her brand and concepts. It's literally still on my hand, what the heck? So yeah, the mixing occurred later. You watching a dry? You watching a dry? for her birthday. Her birthday already passed, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, mixing it was more like an afterthought. It's more like a content play. Um, wasn't really in the plan to sell it because then I thought it would be kind of distracting, you know? And it's like, eh, I don't know. Okay, now that it's matte, what do we think? What do we think? I'll bring it in closer. Bring it in. Okay, weird. Matt Sof Saftober. Saftoberfest. Why can't I say this word? Matt Saftoberfest is is a weird one. Matt kills the hollow and some of the shimmer. You can still see it, but now it just kind of looks like dead and gray inside, you know, which maybe some of us are. It looks like linoleum. It kind of looks like a floor. Yeah, it looks like a floor in like a kid's playroom, you know, and it hasn't been mopped in a while. Or like a stone. Yeah, it kind of looks like an amethyst stone that hasn't been polished. Purple concrete. A bowling ball. Purple airheads. Spray on shoes from cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Well, that's very specific. A gym floor, <laughs> it kinda does. It looks like my shirt. Wait a second. <laughs> Menchi, it's the matte one kinda looks like us. Maybe I'm a little bit lighter, but it's similar. Ah, taco. Taco's attack. The goth version of anti-hero? That's funny. I personally prefer Saftoberfest glossy because then you get to see like the Franken mix of all the different pigments. We've got crushed berry hollow. We've got bat bitch pearlescent and a little bit of the spooky glow from spirit fingers. We've got some broken up linear hollow from Brucey and a tiny bit of feeling finish to give it a muted mauve and bats. Baby bats. Can we have a hint about your birthday polish before you end stream? My budget is inquiring. I mean, uh, when is my birthday? Chat, tell me when my birthday is. This is a test. October, thank you. Yes, my birthday's on October 27th. Chad, the 
doesn't even know me. You don't even know my birthday is. Doesn't it remind you on Facebook? <laughs> then she's concerned. It's okay. Oh, are we upset? You upset her. Hey, sweetie. You upset her. My birthday is October 17th. And then she wants to celebrate. Let's pick her eye boogies. Oh, there you go. You needed that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are doing things for my birthday. Then she you like my hair. Um, yes, I will have a birthday polish. Yes, there will be more than one thing released to make it worth the shipping. I don't know. Just, like, you don't... Giving you an exact amount now won't really do much than just taking the average of all of our releases. How much is that? Okay, it's probably close. There you go. That's a good way to guess. <laughs> What's the average of all of our... Someone has this somewhere, I'm sure. You data nerds. Take the average. It's probably somewhere around there. And uh, you know when my birthday is. It's October 17th. Well, some of you know. Uh, not that it's going to be released on my birthday. But like somewhere in proximity on a Saturday to my birthday. And maybe there won't be just nail polish. Bring back glow in the dark. You got it. We're doing it. Uh, we are bringing back Glow in the Dark Taco. Before my birthday. Yeah. Because to make sure people get it in time for Halloween. After last year's feedback, that's what we're going to do. But yes, we we are Glow... Yeah, th this isn't that surprising or shocking. Like, okay, who cares? Yes. Yes, we're going to restock Glow in the Dark Taco. It's a seasonal product. She is coming back in small-ish quantities you know pigments and whatever she is seasonal and she yeah sooner rather than later to make sure that people have it going into the halloween week and season um that that was the goal display racks i need to get another update on but the goal is it should be back soon ish but i don't know hmm I'll have to ask for an update, but yeah, last I heard it, it was like in the next little while. Why not with Saf's release? Because uh, we were busy mixing that up for her, making sure that went perfectly well. So sometimes it's hard to like aggregate everything into one thing all the time, especially when you're dealing with, you know, smaller mixes of things like glow in the dark taco which has a different process and stuff and then also wanting to make sure saf's release was just like full attention on sophia's stuff nothing else <laughs> favorite sister also but that'll be later for like uh, uh christmas season so not yet Did I miss these? Okay, I do want to compare. I'll do this later. Sorry, I'm out of order. I'm out of order. What is favorite sister? Uh, only like my favorite sister. Favorite sister is this red frosted middle bitch. It was designed by my favorite and only sister, Jen. Are we demanding enough? Uh, no. You should definitely demand harder. Thank you for everything and the Holo Taco team do. You're welcome. <laughs> we love you guys. I love the Sophia collection. I was able to snag at least one polish, but couldn't afford them, sadly. Got my fave one, though. That's awesome. Jen and Ben are my favorite Holo Taco polishes. What about my cats and Sophia? That's rude. Like the chatter said two hours ago, my fan base is so rude. I agree. It's my fault, you know. So I'm just such a mean creator. Okay, let's compare Saftober 
to Sophia's Franken. So Sophia did this on her channel. Should we watch it? Okay, let's watch it. We're doing a live react. I'm stealing her views. Don't cancel me. Is this on? Yeah. Is this thing on? I need to mix all of my hollow taco shades together, so we pretty much had to. As some of you guys may know, we recently did a collab with our friend Christine and her nail polish brand, Hollow Taco. And because of my propensity to mix different things together, a lot of you guys wanted to see a Franken polish. So we got ourselves a mixing bowl and poured in a fair amount of Spirit Fingers, That Bitch, Bury Me in Hollow, Brucey, and finally just a tiny little bit of our Feeling Fiendish color. Since Christine advised that too much creme polish might coat our other sparkles. That's a girl. And after some stirring, okay. Oh, 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 oh my God, Brucey just took over. <laughs> Our Franken polish settled on a very sparkly, deep grayish purple. Yeah, burnt, sparkly rainbow eggplant. Then it was time to pour our polish into some empty hollow taco bottles. She used the funnel. She used the funnel. She wasted the nail polish. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is like the way you should do it because it looks more like beauty science, you know, to be using funnels. It feels so like professional. Well, why is that? Why is using funnels like so professional? Hers looks darker. Oh, let's wait. We got to get through it. Using these tiny funnels. It's like a, what are those things with the sand and the time? What is it called? An hourglass. An hourglass. An hourglass. <laughs> and after a couple coats, I think it came out looking pretty cute. It's quite a muted purple, but it's very sparkly and I can definitely see. Okay. Hers is a little bit darker, eh? See some rainbows. I hope you guys like it because... It's still got that like muted eggplanty. Like I still see, it's still purple, but it looks to me like she had a little bit more Brucey and Bat Bitch. Yeah. Which makes sense because when I was pouring, I was intentionally a little more sparing on Brucey and Bat Bitch, just knowing that those two together would like would take over. So I probably did proportionally less of the darker colors just in the back of my mind because I was trying to like make sure it didn't go too dark, but I like this. You've all been asking me to- Oh, it's a loop. What a fucking amazing creator. I, I don't know how to do that. I don't do this. Did you guys catch that? Mix all of my hollow taco shades together. The end looped to the beginning. Okay, Sophia, go ahead, flex on us with your content skills, girl. <laughs> Of course she would. That flawless loop. Okay. Let me just keep going. I'm gonna pause. You know what shorts need to figure out is how I can fast forward it on desktop. Susan, please come back. You can do it on, oh, that's my shot. Did I, did I tell you guys this? Okay. When I made my yogurt lid spills, these. When I did this, which we're gonna peel next, this is that, okay? This is that footage. When a yogurt lid gets to a point where like, okay, all the, the colors are blending too much, they're not gonna work for like a pretty looking spill. I just took a brush and started blending it and then sent her that footage thinking like, oh, if they make a Franken polish, you know, they'll just use this. I think in that particular section of the yogurt lid, I had more of the creme and spirit fingers, which is why it's grayer, which is kind of fun that if you happen to be mixing a, your own Franken and you want a lighter color, just use less of the other shades and use more spirit fingers and the creme feeling fiendish and it'll look a bit grayer like this. It's kind of pretty. I'm just gonna freeze frame on her result so we can look at it and compare. Yeah. Definitely a lot of Brucey's coming through. That's fucking pretty though. It, it kind of looks like a more egg, egg planty bat bitch. Oh yeah, you can really see the blue shimmer there. It's amazing. Hot new trend, Franken hollow. Yes, girl. Okay, I'm gonna, what's a good freeze frame? We can only go back once. No. That? No, on her nail. Let's freeze on her nail. There. <laughs> we can't go back.
Actually, it's easier if you just remember this. Keep this in your head. <laughs> and I'll go back and forth. Use your memory. Mine is lighter, definitely. Definitely more purpley. Hers is a bit darker eggplant and kind of more muted. You know what I th also think it is? I think mine has more bury me in hollow. Now maybe it's just the type of camera cause like I, yeah, it, it could be she's she's shooting like a full fuller frame, like wider thing. This is a macro camera that really picks up on smaller details for nails. But I see more of the bury me in hollow crushed little hollow bits. Don't look at the matte one, just look at the shiny one. You see those like little reddish bits popping through. I think that's contributing to the vibrancy of the purple. And hers is more overall muted. I see less Barry Me and Hall. I see more of that bitch. Maybe she prefers it. I feel like she'd prefer it that way. It's a little more like gothic. Mine's a little more chaotic. <laughs> oh, my battery literally just died when I said chaotic. My battery died. It flew away. <laughs> Saf is giving us the finger, yeah. She's also really mean to her fans. She just gives everyone the finger. Me too, every time I film a tutorial. It's always this, actually. <laughs> I just mixed a drop of each multi-chrome on my No Mess mat and compared it to Wayback Chrome, the new shade I got is very similar to a dusty eggplant. Interesting. I think mixing multi-chromes is a bit of a different process, which we learned when we made it. Because if you mix too many competing multi-chromes, you actually cut through the multi-chromatic shininess of them, and then they end up not looking chromey. So you have to mix the pigments when they're like dry to maintain the chrominess. That's probably like, not 100% accurate. <laughs> That's from my memory why it actually might be different if you like wet mixed finished product versus if you mixed uh, dry pigments first and then, you know, added base and whatever. It's different because of the chromatic shininess. Aren't all your gifts on the website your middle finger? Yeah. So I basically flip off customers too. Anytime you come to our website, I give you the finger. <laughs> Okay. So, you didn't tell me. Please hold. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do we like Saftoberfest? Would you wear? Do we think Sophia likes it? I would wear this. It's very nightshady. It's a sparkly, dispersed nightshade in a way. Saftoberfest, bruisey. It's kind of bruised actually. It's like a bruised brucey. Feeling bruisey, fiendish bruise, franken bruise. Cat hair in my nose. Would wear definitely. Sell it to me, no. Um, <laughs> but you can make your own if you want, if you have like an empty glossy taco bottle or whatever, or just mix it up in yogurt lid. Okay. Speaking of yogurt lids, last thing we're going to do today. No, oh, there's a cat hair in my nose. Sorry. <laughs> it happens every time. Yogurt lids. Nom, 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 nom. This is a yogurt lid from 2021, but I like to recycle my yogurt lids. Okay, I'm a crafty girl. 
I make these to make all of my intro and outro screens you see on this channel and in any marketing we do for a collection. I just spill the polish and then record it as it's spilling. After it dries, you can peel it off and it's really easy. And then I can reuse it for the next collection. Hmm. So let's pop it off. Let's do some ASMR. Okay, I'm gonna stop the music and you're gonna hear it crack. It's peely time. I'm gonna cut this clip and send it to Sophia for her own enjoyment. So I'm just punching it off to kind of pop it off. Yeah, that's a good pop. And then you gotta find a little lift. Oh, fuck, she's beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, look how pretty the back of a yogurt lid always looks. I don't know, man. I guess it cause, it's cause this side was like the side that was dripping back and forth. So it kind of gets mixed, but the back gets preserved in a way and it's up against shiny plastic. So when it dries, it kind of imprints the shininess of it. So it almost looks like it has a glossy taco. You can really see the different formulas in this. This is such a good advertisement. <laughs> like you can see the creme is just flat, but a stunning color. It's kind of like clouded over some of the other ones. Brucey, you can really see the linear, but steeliness. Like the, look at that metallic flare in Brucey. Don't underestimate how different he is. And then the crushed hollow and bury me in hollow. And then spirit fingers is kind of harder to spot because I'm just seeing a lot of the red magenta shimmer kind of just drop down there. But there, there's the line of bat bitch. When I go back to this side, you can kind of see that they were blendy, blendy, wendy. This is the forbidden fruit roll up. I'm definitely gonna mail this to Sophia. I think she should have it forever. <laughs> All right, on that note, everyone, make sure to smash that like button and make sure to smash that subscribe button. I'll be back here next Wednesday. We're playing Oxen Free. It's a game. We are gamers. And uh, I'll also be back next Saturday. I'm here every Saturday, same time, same place. Every Wednesday night playing games. And Minch Gang uh, bonus extra stream will be later this month on Sunday. On an A Sunday, we do that every month. All right, everyone. Big thank you to the mods. Can't wait for everyone to get their Holo Taco X Sophia collection. And stay tuned for the mini restock. Hit notify me on the shades that you're missing or the black nail file. I will see you all next time.
Yeah, 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 yeah.